Suppose I have time for a nap before we leave. Hmm? So, back to the lodge. Level 30. Okay, come back to that. Get it. Into the unknown. Empty nest. Empty nest, I guess. Not explored every system along the street. Try jumping to a closer system. It's behind you. this. Front of industrial outpost, parking station, or just star station, the alchemist, I'm a ghost. Gotcha. Okay. But I wanted to see. into that fucking space. This is Free Star Space. Please hold your current speed and heading while we scan you for contraband. You're good to go. Have a nice time in Aquila City.
the joints better and keeps fucking coming out. I like when weed goes out, because then, like, it doesn't just burn away any of the giant ash. When I'm smoking it, and it goes out. Planning on staying a while, we could grab a room at the stadium. See? Mixed signals, man. She's talking about rooms and shit. Alright, we're here. You ready? Because once we get started, I'm gonna be riding your tail till this is over. Fine. Ride the tail. There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a cult. As in Solomon Co, first man on Aquila. That tale I mentioned before, the one I think is connected to an artifact, it's something of a family legend. After Planetfall, Solomon spent years mapping Aquila, and he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his sensors. The kind of nothing an artifact produces. He called it the Empty Nest said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go. Solomon's maps are locked up tight in the local gal bank. We'll be heading there. It's got an achievement. For being level 5, but I'm actually level 9. Social. Right, upgrades. Okay, so. Increase my health by 20% is gonna be good, but. Let's go with the pistol does more. Do you gotta miss with the pistol? Hey. See, she's all jealous now. It's like, hey, how did you do? Why would you do that? This is so. I'm selling. Uh, no, I don't. So. 6.5 millimeter. I don't have anything else that uses that, so I'll keep it. 27 caliber, I'll keep it. Just don't want. All the guns using up the same ammo. This is my first legendary I got last night. of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. Never a dull moment around here. I know you. You're Sam Coe. Marshal will be damn glad to have another Freestar Ranger helping out. Afraid your information is a couple years out of date. People are in danger that I need to help. Well, all I know is there was an attempted bank robbery and things went sideways. You'd have to ask the marshal if you want the whole story. Not usually, but he took charge of the situation because the bank robbers are part of the Shaw gang. The marshal's had a lot of experience dealing with the gang, so he's calling the shots. It's just behind me on the right. The place is on lockdown, so you should steer clear unless you can help out. I guess that'd be the marshal's call. Frankly, it ain't going well. Looks to be a stalemate. Maybe a little outside help would do some good. Well, 
Doubt those robbers are gonna let us leisurely peruse the Galbank vault. We better see if we can help move the situation along. Keyless City. Feels like I spent half my life trying to get out of this place. Like who? Not you, but not one of your rangers, and not these city guards, neither. <sighs> what the hell am I supposed to do with that? You need to stand back now. Well, I'm a little busy right now, so if you don't mind, I need you to hang back. Aquila City at its finest, I see. Never a dull moment. Well, I'll be damned. Sam Cole. Been a long time. I won't hold my breath about you being here to take the badge again. Uh, listen, Sam, just so you know, I don't blame you for how it went down. For the others, though, you might get a different reception. Thanks. I appreciate you saying so. But I figure some of that reception is owed. Still, I appreciate the sentiment, Marshal. It seems you got a situation. My friend here may be the answer you're looking for. All right, Sam. I'll trust your judgment on this one. Some folks from the Shaw Gang tried to rob the place, but they got spotted by a guard. They took everyone inside hostage, and now they're keeping a watch so we can't move against them. They're using the intercom to communicate. Well, that's real damn helpful. Thank you. They won't talk to me. Say they don't trust the badge. <laughs> they want a neutral negotiator. In other words, they didn't have a plan for this, so they're stalling while they come up with one. Hmm. All right, I'm willing to allow that. But a few things first. Say what you have to, but whatever they ask for, there's no way in hell I'm giving it to them. Also, there are lives at stake, so don't get cavalier. Find out what they want, and then report back to me. Take it slow and steady. Look for every opportunity to de-escalate. You got this. Hey, you in the bank. I'm sending in a negotiator, so don't shoot. Hands where I can see him. Don't try nothing. Security around here is a joke. You're the negotiator, huh? If you think you're just gonna walk up here and get us to surrender, you're dead wrong. Uh, it's Jed. Jed Bullock. Well, ain't you polite. So tell me, stranger. How do I know you're gonna deal straight with us? Yeah, well, the Marshal can think what he wants. I'll make my own mind up. Got a real attitude problem, don't you? Well, you better Still. listen up. We want to guarantee a safe passage to the spaceport and a ship. Drop the hostages off somewhere safe in the system. After that, we'll radio back where they are, and the Marshal and his crew can come and get them. But if anybody follows us when we break orbit, we start shooting people. Got it? What, do you think we want to stay locked up in here? Hell no! Oh, hell, the Freestar Rangers have got ships. They can give us one of them. This whole damn job's gone wrong. It was supposed to be just a quick hit. Clean and simple, you know? So let's just... Let's all try to keep our heads, yeah? Because my guys, they're going crazy in here. I don't know how much longer we can last. What do you mean? Nice try, but 
The Shaw Gang don't scare that easy. Sometimes bad things happen to innocent people. the conversation people. stuff. That's <clears throat> life. Nah, it's too late to back out now. Even the We're green doesn't through. work sometimes. You go tell the marshal to get that ship ready so we can all walk away from this thing without anybody getting hurt. I'm gonna kill him. The shock games make it. I heard himself. every word. He's talking too loud. Sign of fatigue. All that fear and exhaustion are taking a toll. They're not thinking straight. That puts us in a very precarious position. Yeah, you're right. You gave those boys a chance, but now they have to lie in the bed they made. Problem is, they're keeping me and the guards in sight at all times. If we try to move against them, they'll see us coming. What do you want? Credits? Fine, if that's what it takes to end this. I'll do it. But those credits better buy me a guarantee. That the hostages will come out safe and unharmed. Maybe uh, help the people first, and then talk about a reward? Now, I see two ways we can play this. You could ask to see the hostages. Once you're inside, you can make your move. If you're quick, I think you can take them out before they have a chance to respond. But you'll have to shoot to kill. There's also a back door. Most of their attention's focused out front here, so they may not be watching it as closely. This key should unlock it. Big mistake, pal. Another one for the scoreboard back home. Ooh, Sam's got some skill. I think you're real clever. Damn. Now I've got you. I don't. Look, I don't want to throw a grenade in there. Fuck it. Shotgun? Shotgun. I need some help here! Shit, this shit wants 10.
Thank you so much. Work. I heard the fight. The hostages, are they safe? Is that so? Shame it had to come to that. But you got the job done and saved lives. Here, you've more than earned this. You got us out of a tough spot, and you did it with courage that's not common. As a matter of fact, you might just be Freestar Ranger material. If you're interested, head on over to The Rock and ask for Emma Wilcox. She handles the new recruits. All right. Now that lives aren't on the line, let's get back in Galbank, see if we can get those maps. Shimon. Baby. In Galbank? the vault? Oh, right. The family has a few different deposit boxes secured in here, so let's look around. Here's a copy of the key. Okay, now remember, Solomon was from an earlier generation, so it's not gonna be on a slate. Uh -huh. Big bundles of paper is what we're after. All of a sudden, I don't like these. Um, Definitely gonna need to invest in more digistates. Never caught the 
glass and the spy glass. Jacob. Of course that old mule saw this coming. You gonna be like this the whole way? Yep. Damn it. Yep. I was hoping to avoid the estate. Yep. Cora's gonna be so mad. Yep. We really gotta do this. I hate it too, man, but I gotta do it. <clears throat> Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. <sighs> All right, fine. He's my dad, okay? We're not exactly on friendly terms. He probably figured I'd come for the maps at some point. Got ahead of me. Family business just wasn't something I wanted to get into, you know? Yeah, well, sorry I'm such a pain about it. No forgiveness between me and my old man. It's a uh, cold tradition. All right, shall we? Shut up. though guess I'm not used to having the tube out but it's nothing that would keep me from getting back out there I feel for the folk in the stretch you got some business with me give a credit or two to the low house when I'm able oh well if the marshal sent you to me that means he's looking to recruit you just so you know what you're getting into I'll explain who we are and what we do well, the Freestar Rangers ensure the safety and security of the Freestar Collective and its people. We might hunt down a fugitive, break up a smuggling operation, investigate a starship theft, or put some would-be bank robbers behind bars. Whatever needs doing to keep the people safe, we do. It can be. 
Yeah. We tend to get called in when there's a threat too big for local security to handle. So that means we hunt the most dangerous game. I imagine you've got some questions. I'll answer anything I can. Well, in theory, a Freestar Ranger can go anywhere in Freestar Collective Space, uh, even private property. But of course, it doesn't always work out that way. We also have jurisdiction over any local security when we're tracking a fugitive. The number's always changing due to retirements, recruiting, and unfortunately, death in the line of duty. But as far as I know, there's never been more than a dozen rangers at any one time. Okay then, a word about myself. I'm in charge of making sure anyone that wants to be a Freestar Ranger is up to the task. That being said, the Marshal wouldn't send you here if he didn't think you had potential. So, what's it gonna be? Are you ready to sign up with the Freestar Rangers? You have to be completely sure about this, so take whatever time you need. Just come and find me if you decide you want to join. Well, hey there. You're probably looking for Mary. That's the rock. Ranger Central. Not a bad bar, too. I'm just saying, my family was on the first ship. Proper founders. decides to darken our doorstep again. You know why I'm here. Oh? What's that? You come to your senses? Realize where you ought to be for once? I ain't asking again. You ain't asked once. Let's hear it. I want you to say the words about what's more important to you than family. Okay, this was a mistake. The only mistake I'm seeing here is you. Bringing your constellation lackey here instead of my granddaughter. Come to help Sam loot his ancestry? You're not getting those maps. Full stop. Nothing's more important than family. Nothing. If Sam had stuck around, he'd know that. You wouldn't be here. All right, that's enough. Come on, let's you and I talk. In private. <laughs> Welcome home, Sam. Make your visit short, okay? It's what you do. I hope Porter doesn't get <clears throat> too much underfoot. Give me a sec. Talk. <sighs> All right, let's talk options. Okay, that's not bad. Just uh, give me a minute to brace myself, okay? Round two with the old mule can be even worse than round one. Next time you talk to Jacob, tell him I want a word with him. That'll be our cue. You slip away and I'll keep him busy. That's perfect. 
I'll talk to Jake when I don't seem distracted. I'll talk to Jake when I'm distracted. What do you want, Constellation? Oh, he's pissed. It's Trevor's fault. Well, that's not your decision, is it? It's called property by birthright. It stays here. believe that, don't you? Can't believe I'm saying this. Whoa. But if I'll get you out of my hair, then fine. You can have the maps. They're in the other room. Here. Key. Okay. Let's see if we can find the empty nest. All right, let me think. The way I heard it, the readings he was getting were normal at first, then they bottomed out. And no creature, alien or otherwise, would dare step inside. There. Found it. Oh, boy. <sighs> That's a problem. First, it's in the middle of the frontier, which we already expected. No problems there, but the usual tussling with alien wildlife. But the empty nest is a cave right in the middle of Shagang territory. Same outlaws who held up Galbank. Criminal groups in Aquila always find a way. But they usually have to keep on the move to avoid the Ashton. Well, could just be a coincidence that the cave we want happens to be where the Shaw Gang runs around. But something doesn't feel right. Well, just remember, it's about the artifact, not them. Hurting bad guys puts a smile on your face, that's a bonus. Let's get to that cave. at the low house could really use someone helpful like you after the job you did with the bank it should be easy
little too excited there in the last shot. <clears throat> okay, so these things are high armor. I just kind of put spots.
food on there. There's a good stand in a razor. Canadian bacon. It's over. All kinds of keys. Another one over there. Okay. Long barrel, short scope, armor piercing rounds. Short scope, armor piercing rounds. Let's get rid of that.
grenade launcher. That's the combat knife. Got more bullets for this. Save that one. Let's get going. Feel like something's going on. Better we get it than someone else. Being able to trick out your own gun is a uh, valuable skill.
I think that's far enough. Hate to put a hole in the head of Akela's own prodigal son. At least not before we've had a word. You must be Shaw. What I am is disappointed. Samco in the flesh, and he's peddling around the frontier with the has-beens of Constellation. Now you got past my crew, who I pay quite handsomely, I might add. Grabbed something from that weird cave. Probably whatever's been keeping the Ashta away. So, I'm down one hideout. Now, let's talk about what all that's worth to me. Your lives, your credits. One or the other, really. Oh, really? Let's hear it. You got past a few rookies, that's all. Saying I should cut my losses. Hmm. Fine. Get the hell out of here before I change my mind. I see you again. You're dead. What? It's the Ashta. You. This is your fault. You better lend us a hand. Should I help? Size of that. What is that? Look at that thing. What the fuck is that? Why did it just die so easily? I'm so confused. Oh, what the fuck? Sniper, why don't you use it? Yeah, because by the time I decide to use it, two books. We're gonna miss. That's why I'm not a sniper. What the fuck was that though? Most folk prefer the jetpack. That's like a good Smugglers would be wise not to tangle with us. You're lucky the boss is so generous. I guess I get out of here before I change my mind. Press razor back.
Cause you're over encumbered, you dumbass. Whoops. I don't know where I'm going. Am I going back to my ship? I don't know. Oh,
Oh, <laughs> aren't we all in this day and age? What did I say? Soreness. I'm going to see these in fucking time. I see what you did there, Walter. And I know you've been secretly crying into your piles of money just waiting for my return. Actually, Walter has been complaining about you more than usual, which is always a sign when he's worried. Don't start, Country. Wait, is that? <laughs> and to think the first artifact was taking up dust on the library shelf. Now look at them all. Just. What are we building here? You feel it a bit, can't you? Any kind of frequency or... Ever since I found the second one, that doesn't the visions, much. being around them is just comforting. So hey, I, I'm still not a hundred percent, plus I feel guilty dragging you into all of this. Why don't I stick around, help you get adjusted to the weird corners of the universe? Why would either of those things give the discoverer vision? Marvelous. Moving forward sometimes means fumbling around in the dark. I think Cora and I can use some downtime, but you let me know if you ever want to team up again. 
Oh, and since it tends to come up, me and my Rugrat co-pilot work as a team. That's non-negotiable. If I'm coming with, that means Cora's on your ship. Hmm. <laughs> Why not? What do you think, Cora? It's really nice to have more company. New stories, new data. What? Data? <laughs> All right. We're in. Let's see what the galaxy throws at us next. You know they have cargo hold for all that. Captain. Any day you make it through is a victory in my book. Yeah, I was done too. I'm listening. Yeah, what is it? Yes, yes, absolutely. Switching me out for the big boss, huh? Well, of course. How else do you expect anything to be done correctly? I hope you are satisfied with the orders available. Here, I have something for you. <laughs> oh, you're incorrigible. Mm. I picked it up on one of our latest planetary expeditions. I'm more than just an extra gun, you know. <laughs> I'm just pleased I get to utilize some of my old field collecting skills. Sure. It's been a while. Check back with me from time to time after we return from our planetary jaunts. If I pick anything up, it's all yours. You've got something for me? Let's see what you've got. Goodbye. What can I help you with? No. Until later.
life forms are roaming this planet. Hmm, time to find out.
seeing, this world has all the essential building blocks to support life. This mining facility looks stable, but at the first sign of seismic activity, we should get out of here. I was like, shit, I realized, I thought there was a switch, and it ended up on, it was an alarm. Don't come any closer. Identify yourself. You are from Constellation. Vladimir said someone might be coming. I'm just glad we found you unharmed, Andresia. Vladimir and I were worried. You are the newest member, yes? 
Do they often send you to check up on other, more senior members? <laughs> I suppose. And yet you are here. Instead of checking up on Barrett or Noel. We waste time. We should complete our mission and then we can talk. Once again, we are triumphant. Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets. A chunk's chunk walks into a bar. <clears throat> Bartender says, we don't serve food here. Chunk sit down and says, then I guess I'm in the right place. Knock, knock. Who's there? Broken sword. Broken sword who? Oh, never mind. It's pointless. <laughs> How many atheists does it take to screw in a light bulb? None. They're already in light. <laughs> What's the last thing to go through a Free Star Militia member's mind when they meet a United Colonies Marine? A laser beam. <laughs> Why don't Terramorphs eat clowns? They taste funny. Unlike the first two volumes he published, Lewis Luthor's Bad People, Bad Jokes Volume 3 never really gained much of an audience. Popular theories suggest that by the time it's released, people were already tired of Luthor's terrible jokes. <sighs> Cutlass. I like it. I like it. Into a space, minus fifteen dollars.
cool. Something you need? I'll only carry the... So that this must all be straight. This is cobalt. Talk to you later.
Best not to leave anything useful behind. Do you think this might be useful for us? I did not respond when I called to you after you pulled out the artifact. Does that mean Barrett's theory and experience were correct? The artifact grants the first person who touches it a vision? The fact that it has happened to both you and Barrett is already more than we had before. I think it is important that we discuss what you saw back there. That man. What I had done. It was, yes. I appreciate that you see it that way. A very practical outlook, not one I find is shared amongst members of Constellation. May I ask what your background is? Argos. I have heard of this company. Small, reckless, Interesting. I do not have experience with this profession, but I have my own experiences with... <sighs> ...risk. We both seem to be... ...unusual additions to Constellation. Please, I would ask that you not mention to Vladimir the... ...the circumstances in which you found me. This is not the first time that... ...Varun zealots have attempted to corner me. If it is known that this has happened again, well, it has been a while since I was given an assignment on my own. I would not want it to be even longer in the future. Do you understand? Mom, this means we are in agreement. Thank you. That is good to know. I will finish here, and return to New Atlantis when I can. You should go now, as they will be expecting us.
shit hurts so tiny. Mind if we stop by the waterfall on this trip? I could use a few moments to unwind. Yeah, um, <clears throat> I find it's more, I mean, I guess it's, it kind of looks like we're bringing in it. It, it. it resembles really uh, No Man's Sky in my opinion. Um, but I mean, no Man's Sky works, so why wouldn't you take a little bit from it? But like, you know, No Man's Sky would just be a bunch of dots. You select a dot, and then there's, you know, planets. It looks like this. But, yeah, it's pretty cool. at this place. It's just as we left it. You know, I've often wondered who keeps the lodge Why? so meticulously Wasn't clean. Concerned that I would not contribute to the mission? No, of course not. We thought you might be hurt. Oh, I then thank you, but it was not necessary. We succeeded. Barrett. The book I left for you in your room is about the commonality. Look at you two. I'm jealous. I tried following up on some leads myself, but came back empty-handed. They could be anywhere, can't they? Embedded in a rock, or in the hands of an unsuspecting novelty goods trader? Sorry, thanks for the something else. I wasn't aware we were competing, but game on. Oh no, don't you two start. We're supposed to be working together, not competing. What's wrong with a little rivalry here and there? I think it pushes us to be at our best. Or causes nothing but arguments. Arguments which then breed distrust. Noel is right, Matteo. Well, I suppose there was that one time... And then the other... Mm, what do you think? A little competition can't be that bad, can it? I feel the same, strangely enough. The inherent contradiction of human nature has once again laughed in my face. I'm gonna be the one laughing at your face if this conversation keeps going, Mateo. See what the two of you have done. <laughs> you have our friend here trying desperately to not take sides. You know what? I just realized I completely overtook this whole conversation. This should be about you and Andresia celebrating a win for the group. I do not mind being asked to join in a debate. It was good to hear everyone's sides. But I do agree that what the... we accomplished something together. Thank you for your help. I have no objections. Let us see what else we can find out there. Noel, pulling some interesting data from those new artifacts. Tell the Rook to meet me back on board the station. Roger that, Vladimir. He's on his way. Ah, hello. 
Ah, yes, we are done. I am at your service, Captain. Just... Always a satisfying moment to return to your ship. Got your ping loud as a bell. Eyes ready to let you aboard. How have you been? Now that those artifacts aren't just blips of hope in the Blackest Sea, I found an interesting pattern. The grav anomaly generated by one of those artifacts it matches one on another planet. A bigger one. The ones we found, anyway. No telling what this is, but you can feel that excitement in the air, can't you? It's something important. Going to send you the mark close as I can, but I'm having trouble pinpointing the source. You'll need to explore the area on foot. Put your scanner to work. Don't know what you'll find. Keep your eyes open. And from there, maybe you catch a smile and uncover the source of it all.
Hello. What have you got for me? Good. Scanner review.
think it's it speeds up, right? So if I look over here, nothing. If I look here, as I get closer. It's like a heartbeat. Maybe closer. Okay. It's gotta be in this direction. I can see no telephone. Are they moving? They seem to react to us.
You all right? We need to get you back to the lodge. certainly projects a powerful image for the United Colonies, eh? Glad to be back. It will be good to have a moment to relax. Crix's bones. Look at you. If you don't mind, I'm gonna start doing some scans. Like, right now. We were right about the anomaly, weren't we? Tip our ears on the tail. What in the blackest sea are you going on about? What did it do to you? Um, Vladimir? Look at these readings. Cardiovascular and neurological levels aren't in the normal range. I think we're going to need a little demonstration. Mind putting the paces to it? Everyone saw that, right? Like a literal gift from the heavens. And also the most practical consequence of our little venture thus far. Got no old shipwise for this one. Going to just call weird, weird. No one in Constellation is going to lose lips on this. What could we say? Even we agree we do not fully understand what is going on. Can we find more of them? Already picked one up from the scans. Matches another one of the artifacts we found. In theory, there might be one temple for each. But sifting through all the signs to identify a match is tricky. Impossible if we don't have the right artifact to compare. And even then, it takes time. Don't think it's just Fortune's laugh that this temple responded to you. The artifacts, the visions, this power you've gotten, all seems to be the same song somehow. Plenty to think about. Anyway, catch a smile out there. I'll work on finding planet anomalies that match the other artifacts we have. If you have a moment, I have something I'd like to discuss. Feel free to I help yourself at the bar. I don't drink, it. but I feel like if I did, now would be a good time for one. I must admit, you've surprised me. I thought you were going to take off as soon as you'd gotten something from us. But I was wrong. I want you for a little soiree I'm planning. A business meeting, of a sort at least. It's about an artifact, and our goal is simple. We're going to purchase it. Our seller is a freelance operative in the city of Neon, which means the artifact is almost certainly stolen from someone. I just need a little more presence in the negotiation to show we're serious. And I think you'd be perfect. Ah, yes, you're intimately familiar with the area. No need to sugarcoat, then. It's going to be treacherous, but I'm hoping our combined talents will be able to handle it. 
It just means being prepared for physical conflict. As well as the usual corporate machinations. What do you say? I just need a ride to Neon, we talk to a few of your fellow Neon citizens, and then we're back for drinks. To the Volai star system, then. I admit I'm a little excited. Need something? Some of these side activities are going on. Rose progressed. I'm sorry, I really can't afford to be distracted. I need to get to the bottom of this. Yes, concerned is an understatement. I work for the scientific division of MAST been studying this tree for quite some time, and it appears to be exhibiting some worrying signs. Are you familiar with this particular specimen? Do you understand its importance? It is a tree. They are quite prevalent in the city. This one is somehow different? Yes, of course this one is different. It's only the most important tree in the city, perhaps even all of Jemison. Look, I have a lot of work to do here. If you're just going to gawk, I'd ask that you move on. If you can actually assist me, however, I would appreciate it. I don't normally solicit help from random passers-by, but it seems an exception is necessary. Would you be willing to retrieve some additional data for me? Well, that's... Thank you. That's unexpected. Ah. There's a series of biosensors I've placed in various locations around New Atlantis, all calibrated to gather pertinent information. They've been running for long enough that I think it's time to collect and analyze their findings. If you would bring them to me, that would save time.
one capacity would probably be good. Stop the O2 from disintegrating so quick, maybe. Used up so quick. Maybe I should have got the house. One is difficult to come out of Are you looking for eggs, too? I've only found one so far, but I want to find more before anyone else does. So if you see some, can you tell me? Yeah, it was. Weird, right? Miss Seng over at UC Distribution bought the one I found, and she said she might buy more if I can find them. I could really use the credits. I'm on tax duty tomorrow. Can't wait. Welcome to UC Distribution. Now, before you say a word, I am required to inform you that formal complaints cannot be filed until the customer feedback system is back online. I have been told it'll be up and running in two weeks, but you know how these things are. I am sorry for any potential inconvenience. Also, if you're here about a corporate account, I've been assured that deliveries will be back on schedule soon. I hope we have what you need.
Who? Jordan? <laughs> that kid's in here every other day with some random thing he found. Trying to get credits. Yeah, I took pity on him. Why? What is it? Oh, really? Well, you can have it back for what I paid for it, plus a little extra. Let's call it a convenience fee, shall we? A pleasure doing business with you. You're always welcome back, if you don't mind a bit of a wait. If I do appreciate that not every so you do. Wonderful. I'll just take these, and we'll see what they have to tell us. All right. We'll just upload the data. Give it a moment. And just another moment. It is working, isn't it? Ah, there it is. Relief. Now, let's see. This is... Well, it's... Oh, my. Well, there's good news and bad news. The good news is that my suspicions were correct. There is something wrong with the tree. I will report my findings to Mast immediately with no small amount of satisfaction. The phrase, I told you so, may even be uttered more than once. Yes, it does feel good to be right. Particularly when others have attempted to convince you otherwise. Repeatedly. The bad news, as it were, is that the internal composition of the tree is changing. In this particular case, the tree is now regularly emitting ultra-low frequency sound waves. They're nearly imperceptible now, but they're growing in strength. This is something we've never observed before. Depending on how large these waves grow, consequences for the city could be... Well, disastrous. I must consult with my colleagues in MAST at once. Thank you for your assistance. I hope these credits are adequate compensation.
Any adventure you Welcome can fly to away. Space. We're gonna do a quick scan for contraband, and you can be on your way. All right, we're done. Have a good time in Neon. to shoot the breeze? Man, smell that? Construction, incense, industrial chemicals of every kind. But they still can't get rid of the odor of castle mass. Quite true, but also opportunity. Our opportunity. We need to stop by the Stroud Ekman offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred, even for something like this. The effort to make this place livable is astounding. There's no end to what can be accomplished when there are credits to be made. Security? 
far more about what you take with you when you leave me on than what you bring in the Don't move, Nesha! It's a spell. Not the act. The snippers picked up the Aurora you're carrying the second you step through. All right, get up slowly and turn around. Try to run and we open fire. So, what was the plan? Smuggle the Aurora into a kill city or New Atlantis? <coughs> no, no, I just forgot I was carrying it. So, honest mistake, right? We don't make the rules. That's Administrator Bayou's job. Now, shut up and start walking. Move it! Let's go! quality life improving technology today before you need it tomorrow. Region Industries has been a leader in technology since its creation of straightforward advancement. There's always room for improvement for filling customer displays. People by looking are designed to hold our brain function or to boost your quality of life. They've been used in medical one and two neurological viewing and this mental stabilizers to help with sleep anxiety and social skills. The first neuroac was created by Ray Decares. Decares, a biotech engineer who specialized in neurological designs. Decares was determined to harness the power of the mind to improve aspects of everyday life. While initially only approved for military use, neuroacs became a public commodity in 2015 and continued to be Ryogen's primary product today. Celebrating 20 years of Ryogen. All questions must be answered in order for your application to be submitted. Work experience. How many years of experience do you have working in a secretarial position or corporate environment? How familiar are you with Ryan? What is your proficiency with computers in regards to typing and file? The level of education will be. Do you have a history of criminal activity? Yeah, then. Ah, Instant sensory overload. Is he a free story? Could we talk? Here, I have something for you. Yes, well, it seemed like a good idea. I saw it earlier and thought you might like it. Or find it useful. Or, well, whatever. Of course. We are partners, are we not? I will keep an eye out in the future. And if I see something, I might hold on to it for you. Yeah. 
I have things I wish to discuss with you when you have time. We have not yet had a moment to talk about what happened to you at that place. T temple? I am not sure what to call it. In all my time amongst the stars, I have never heard of such a thing. What do you think that place was? Nor I, nor I suspect anyone else who has ever lived. Is that presuming too much? Certainly it is too soon to speculate about who built it, but how can we not? After what you experienced, do you have any insights? I suppose it is possible, but I cannot imagine anyone who could build such a thing. I am sorry. After what you have been through, I should be asking about you. Are you all right? Have you felt any side effects? A cynical person might suggest that in itself could be a side effect. But for now, we will just assume you have been very fortunate. The artifacts, that temple, this new ability you have acquired, clearly they are all connected. This is all so much bigger than we realized. You are right. Now we have even greater reason to press forward, to learn more about what is at work here? Yes, how can I help you today? Clover over at Kelcorp? She's too good for Neon. Sounds like she's trying to help someone or something. Honestly, I kind of tuned her out. Welcome to Sick Hearts Outfitters. Everything you need to explore the settled systems. If I don't have it, you don't need it.
I can promise you, I'm not just using hyperbole to get your business. I've spent years perfecting my business by polling customers, measuring sales, and carefully adjusting my inventory to cater to just about everyone. So take your time, look around, ask me questions. You won't be disappointed. Haven't heard that one before, but I suppose I can't blame you for saying so. I have a lot of overhead in this place, and just between you and me, I am up to my eyeballs in debt. This is a prime spot, right next to the spaceport terminal, but the bills and the rent here are astronomical. You'd think that, right? Unfortunately, I'm barely scraping by. Anyway, I don't want to bore you with the details of my business all day. You're here to shop. So why don't you help out a poor shopkeeper like myself and buy something? If you don't see it, you don't need it. Some time in this So I should. Yeah, okay, I look at that. Oh, fuck. That. Um, can you imagine, like, wearing acid or something? Um, wearing acid. Doing acid? I think I said wearing acid. Persuasion chance. There's a lot there that I probably needed.
like now later then. Welcome to Galvin, the Settled System's premier financial institution. Although we have not been able to track down I specific, do not know about you, it's clear that I'm someone is preying on them. suspect that Benjamin Bailey the is a slightly inflated This matter is under himself. active investigation, and any leads should be reported to them. Clearly, the intent is to get us into the Astral Lounge. Shall we follow the signs?
Potter is very proud of his business. And he should be. His ships are very high quality. Mr. Strout, we didn't know you were coming in. It's all right. I just need to have a short chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? Yes. Uh, allow me to bust you in, sir. Walter. Issa. Shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it is a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. They design personal craft and military ships, Walter. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am, arguing with my partner. <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's brand. Snow. I see my partner has brought a labor dispute to my office. No, I did not. Look, this isn't the time or the place. I disagree. I don't see a reason we can't have this discussion. I won't belittle your position with some speech about how Stroud Eklund pays people more than average, or our years of charitable contributions. The fact is, the invisible hand of the market does not give out its gifts equally. We are literally in a tower, standing above the streets of the city. The metaphor isn't lost on me. Yes, they are. But my company comes first to me. Family is often an empty word in corporate culture, but I believe in it. If you belong to Stroud Eklund, we will take care of you. But that is where my sympathies end. I wish I could say I was a better person than that, but I'm not. In a world where we cannot control everything, providing for and protecting our families sometimes has to be enough. That's the neon ultra-competitiveness talking. She, Don't let her fool you. She moves mountains for others all the time. If my partner is done undermining my position, why doesn't he tell me just how you two met? Merely pointing out your finer qualities, Issa. And my colleague here is from Constellation. Ah, yes. The daring explorers my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. Yes? Why are you here, Walter? The board meeting isn't for a while. Our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. This wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Tell me, can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? Exactly. You can see how removed my husband is from the groundwork, if he's overlooked something so obvious. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage? Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar. What's motivating them? Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers, alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. Ah. 
I hate being selfish, but I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorizations anyway. James Newell is the broker who knows our seller. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Meet me back here. Yeah, I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise. Sorry, she's Oakland. Gotcha. Something to drink? Yeah, you're new here, aren't you? Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Not at the Astral Lounge, my friend. In fact, this is the only place authorized to sell Aurora by order of Administrator Bayou himself. And once you buy it, you can use it anywhere in the Neon that you'd like. Well, except the spaceport, of course. Oh, no, 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 no. Drugs are for street gangs and junkies. Aurora is on an entirely different level. I like to call it an exquisitely crafted transcendent experience. <laughs> Only problem is that won't fit on the package. Here, we'll take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie, the Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it, can you really put a price on pleasure? Start with a drink, perhaps? Ben and I are good friends. <laughs> he personally gave me the job here at the Astral Lounge. Oh, he's a good man. Cares a lot about the citizens of Neon, making sure they're all employed and well taken care of. A real humanitarian. Thanks. Pretty amazing, isn't it? That's Borealis, only 19 years old, and yet she produces some of the most heart-pounding, trippiest electronic music you've ever heard. I don't know where she gets her inspiration, but betting all that free Aurora she gets has something to do with it. Excellent choice. The Sky Suite offers luxury and sophistication you won't find anywhere else in the settled systems. And since you'll be living in the same tower as the Astral Lounge, all of its pleasures and pageantry are only an elevator away. Of course. 
The Sky Suite features an open design with an emphasis on luxury. Whether you prefer the morning sky or a neon sunrise, the high ceilings and wall-sized windows will give you a full view of the city's splendor. Come back soon. So, what'll it be today? The Astro Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is hand-picked from the finest officers in the city. Private meetings are usually held in the floor above, just to use the elevators. I'm afraid that would be a serious fire hazard. And I think it's only fair to warn you that the network security on our doors is state-of-the-art. Then I would say you'd be interested in the Astro Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. We do strive for setting the most reasonable rate. I'm sorry. Bullets flying would certainly be bad for the club's reputation. Well, I think we can certainly offer a discounted rate for you. If you were still interested. Excellent. Let me just apply that discount we discussed, and done. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. Enjoy the lounge. Frank Rennick's all in a twist because his robot got vandalized. We had a good laugh about it back at the station. <laughs> never had the patience for computer systems.
There is little question that region has some influence here in the army. How do Mr. Bailey feels about that? If you're looking for supplies, this is the place. Welcome to Newell's. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time. Well, normally I wouldn't go in for that sort of thing, but Sieghart's given me no choice. That man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon security to keep his place safe. A lot of the merchants in Neon belong to a small merchant's alliance. It's nothing formal. It's just a bunch of us getting together to air our grievances and watch each other's backs. By standing up to the lowlifes who come in here expecting me to just hand over all of my money, I refuse to be run out of business or be forced to pay protection. Yeah, sure. If all you care about is yourself. Every payment Seagert makes validates Neon Security's corruption. He's setting a bad precedent that many merchants are forced to follow. Anyway, sorry. I know I can get a little intense about these things. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. Sure. Have a look. Maybe I didn't. Information isn't usually free. I don't usually package pieces of intel, but maybe I could. Okay. I don't know much. But I did have one of my freelancers tail the seller back to his place. Sleep crate one. Let me write down the unit for you. Now, James, I don't want you to get upset. But Administrator Bay, you came by. Oh, yeah? His Majesty decided to come down from his throne and walk amongst us peasants? What did he want? He said he wanted to personally thank us for our contributions to the city and hopes for our continued support. I'm sorry. Contributions? Those taxes we pay are a sham. So he can line his ivory trade tower with another 
layer of gold. Newell's goods. We have everything. Not sure if those Varun salads have the space. I don't sell. Where alone your shoulders relax. They're taut. We're on to something remarkable. Maybe what I've always dreamed of. I can tell. I can see your mind racing. I haven't even stopped to ask you how you are doing. I'm fine. The board complains, I assure them. There's the occasional assassination attempt. So, you don't need anything from me then? I don't. Am I just some useless stargazer? You would have been better off marrying a Hope or a Tayo, someone who could be with you at every meeting. Oh, don't go on about that again. Needing you isn't the same as wanting you. And I'd much rather want my partner than need them. Less complicated. Now, I know Constellation seems to take up so much of my time. But I never stop thinking of Wondering what maneuvering you're doing to take over the company and drive me out. It's how I show my love. Is everything ready? Excellent. Good work. Let's head to the Astral Lounge. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Just in case. Good luck, all of you.
here. Now, I don't know what the seller looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them, larger than normal, big enough to hold the artifact. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Travers. Are they? <laughs> it's not like people who trade in stolen goods are eager to share personally identifying information. Code phrases? Under different circumstances, Walter, I think you might have made an adequate smuggler. Remember, Ramsey and Travers. We'll meet back near the elevator. You see, I'm busy drinking. Oh, really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. just saw our seller walk by. Good job. That's not surprising. This is a deal over stolen property, after all. Anything could go wrong. Now, before we head in there, let me go over the ground rules. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal, too. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that chip in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as it's in our hands, and we're not dead. How does that sound? That's why you're here. Hopefully our combined countenance will be enough, but grabbing the artifact and running is an option. Uh, just do me a favor and treat it as a last resort. I have a reputation. demanding we look into her husband's murder. Murder. Yeah, right. Hysterical old broad. So you, Stroud, you look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. Flexing the muscles already, huh? Fine. Am I to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind. And I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now how am I supposed to do that? I don't know. But your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in?
Oh, really? And how do you know that? Who talked? Does it matter? We know you're in a fix, and we're still willing to buy. For the agreed-upon amount. I got people after me, okay? I can't just set on what we agreed on. I need more so I can disappear. That's not our problem. We came here expecting one amount. Now you want another. You telling me Walter Stroud ain't got the cash? I'll walk out of this booth right now. What the? Security! As you can see, we're in control. Take advantage of our generosity. Take the money. All right. Okay. It's all yours. Hope I never see any of you people ever again. Well done. Some high-pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. Time to go home, shall we? Stop right there! You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah. Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. There a problem here? Yes. This armed thug was trying to steal our belongings. I'm going to need you to back away from our VIPs. Now. Fine, but you can't stay in the Astral Lounge forever, Stroud. Nicholas Slayton's already got your number. Slayton is a man of considerable resources. Hmm. Sending our men to the Astral Lounge. Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. We better get off the planet quickly. It's... Something's gone wrong, hasn't it? Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He's creased a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. There goes our way out. The CEO of Slayton Aerospace. They're a systems manufacturer. Engines, thrusters. The same way everything works on Neon. Money. It's terrible at keeping secrets. Yes, yes, I'm fully aware this has not gone according to plan. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make an appointment. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? I'm 
I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy man. Ah, there does seem to be a hole in his schedule. Arguments with Mr. S nice try, but I'm afraid we just... Clearly isn't the executive level. He's on to us. Walter. Taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. A bold move. But one easily counted. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? Issa? Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right. We've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? Well, if my wife and I could gallantly offer your majesty a rescue from certain death... Let's go. Doors will open in three, two, one. Slayton's guards and employers are all over. Be careful. Okay. You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cover just to the right of the elevator you came in on. That's the elevator you came in on. Jump right across the top of it and keep going to the end. I suppose that is ours now, eh? Let me just get that for you. You 
know the routine. Up the vent. It's a short one, I promise. Outside. You expect us to climb up the trade tower? There's a series of catwalks that lead directly up one floor to the executive. Well, I guess after you. It's this time. On me! Company! You're coming in just behind the executive elevators. I'll call the one on the far end, and you can walk right over the top. You know, it's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> you have what's mine. I, indirectly, have what's yours. We are at a stalemate. Although I do count a few more guns on my side. I do admit, having the co-CEO of Stroud Eklund in my office is quite the opportunity. How are your quarterlies looking, Nicholas? Perhaps we can add Slayton Aerospace to our supply chain. Provided this unpleasantness was behind us. Yes, I think that could be a most beneficial exchange. There is just the small matter of paying for the humiliation. Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, and the thief responsible for our serendipitous meeting, was caught prior to your arrival. I think it would cement our new partnership if you were to decide on his sentence yourselves. I yield to your judgment. You've more than proven yourself capable of resisting any course of action I attempt to dictate to you. That seems a bit extreme for the circumstances. My security brought Musgrove to my office. I'm sure seeing you again will be a fine conclusion to your previous business. We have an opportunity to spare a man's life. I know he probably wouldn't do the same for us, but that shouldn't matter. Later. 
Oh, no. Yeah. You. Slayton really does have a sick sense of humor. Same old song, huh? You know how this works. Just make up your mind. I don't need to tell you this, but we don't need to kill him. We were taking advantage of his initiative, after all. And we got what we wanted. Justice for some, huh? Fine. It seems you will have plenty of time to evaluate that sentiment. While you are in jail. I will make the arrangements for Neon Security to take him into custody. Okay. You're free to leave. To Escape. Go. Let's talk more back at the ship. Just because I am uh, working so much. Get going, Mr. Slayton is done with you. Uh, we had stuff to do now, you know? Devin and Nastis has run into some trouble. Now is the time to see you. Almost guaranteed. <laughs> Can I help you? You must be one of the candidates that Imogene Salzo is interviewing today. Her office is down the hallway to my left. Take another left at the conference room, follow it around to the right and up a small flight of stairs. Then take a left and keep heading that way until you see her office. Sounds like a maze, right? So if you want me to walk you back there or have any questions, just let me know. Great. Well, good luck then. I'm sure I'll see you on your way out. I suspect that if I were confined to life in an office like this, someone would end up being stabbed. Don't cause any trouble. I'm going down. I don't remember it saying all these fucking stairs. Keep out of my way and I'll keep out of yours. Yeah, still ran behind the guards. Okay, this is uh do 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 Better do this right. I don't want you go breathing down my neck. Okay. 
Great. A full spacesuit. Corporate environments aren't that toxic. Have a seat. And your friend can wait outside. I'm sure they understand. Make sure they understand that in the end, they need you more than you need them. All right, just to get a few things straight here, I'm Imogen Salzo, Senior Operations Specialist here at Ryujin Industries. I don't normally do this, but my counterpart, Yuko, is indisposed at the moment, so here I am. We're looking for someone to fill an entry-level administrative position. Apparently, our algorithm felt you were a decent match. So, let's get this started. Why do you want to work for Ryujin Industries? It's always nice to see the local residents take an interest in us. Why do you consider yourself qualified for a job like this? Including this job? The art of the deal can go a long way here. If what you say is true, you'll have department heads fighting over you in no time. How motivated are you to succeed? All in, huh? At least that's an attitude we can work with here. And finally, my last question. If you worked here for five years, what role would you see yourself in? Well, you've certainly come to the right place for that. Considering your education, I'm sure you could reasonably find a place in that department. So look, since there's a million other things I'd rather be doing than this, not to mention that this isn't even my job, you're hired. On a probationary period? Of course. First order. There's a meeting starting soon, and I need you to pick up the coffee order at Terra Brew. Fairly easy, so you shouldn't be able to screw it up. If there's a line, skip it. Tell them you're here for Imogene Salzo, and you should get served right away. Be on this side, so it's back. You're way to hide spacey settlements. Gotcha. Okay. Hide helm. Go get some coffee. <clears throat> Vectera, by Vectera, by Vectera! I can't believe it! Is it you? Is it really, really you? Captain of the frontier, bane of the fleet, constellations shining star of stars. Yeah. You flatter me. Oh, don't be so modest. It was all over SSNN. 
Lone Miner tames the Crimson Fleet, saves a member of Constellation, and steals the hearts of millions, no, trillions! And now, you're standing here, next to me? Oh, really is you, right? Then the day is truly blessed. Because for a moment, I wasn't sure if you were real or just another hallucination. But now that I know it's you, it seems like destiny. The hero of Vectera, in my second home, ordering a cup of joe? It must be fate. I know, right? And you can try to fight destiny, but you probably aren't going to win. Although, if I'm being honest, I'd wager you could beat just about anything, even theoretical concepts. But why would you, in this case? Either way, it's such an honor to meet you. Hey, do you mind if I follow you around? Do you need a sidekick? What am I saying? You're a hero, of course you do! Lead the way! You won't be disappointed! And welcome to Terra Brew. How may I serve you? Oh, the Ryujin order. You must be new. What happened to Tomo? Did he finally get that promotion? I got fired is what happened. And this... is the soulless suit they got to replace me. Tomo, I'm sorry. I know how hard you were working for that promotion. Four years behind a desk. Getting coffee. Kissing up to that high and mighty Ularu Chen just to get replaced by this nobody? <sighs> Hearing that ad should have been the first sign they were going to get rid of me. I bet Ularu was just waiting for the moment to hire you. And now that I've been terminated, it's only a matter of time before they send you after me. So I'm taking matters into my own hands! Believe me, it's either you or me! I believe you have grossly misunderstood the situation. If you put the gun down, perhaps we can come to an understanding. You want to talk? <laughs> I'll tell you what! You get one chance to prove so you deserve this job. Change my mind, and I'll walk away. Fail? And I think you know where this is headed. No, no, I, I have to do this. You don't understand. Don't make me laugh. I pull this trigger. You don't know. Look. Hey, be careful not to point that thing at me. You should be prepared to use it in the consequences of doing so. You need an effort in good faith to de-escalate the situation. Well, that just made my day more interesting. Look, I don't want any trouble, but I'd get fired if I didn't call security to get this body out of here. So I'd head back to Ryujin ASAP and let Miss Salza know if I were you.
Long as you do, you've got nothing to worry about. I hate being stuck in the office. I hope that coffee is still hot considering the time it took you to get it. You either need to learn this city or how to deal with distractions. So, what was the holdup? Good answer. And the one I was hoping for since we learned of the incident before your return. Your handling of the Tomo situation has caught some attention. And we'd like to try you out in a different role at the company. And since Yuko isn't here to object, your new position starts right now. So, congratulations. You've been promoted. Not bad for your first day, right? None of this was ideal, but at least something can be salvaged from the situation. Let me explain. I'm promoting you to Junior Operative. The position is a bit more complicated and completely confidential. Your main duty is to add influence when necessary to ensure success of the business. Any questions so far? Like any good corporation, we consider what we do here to be a trade secret. If others knew and could mimic our actions, it would take away our edge. Well, it depends on the job, really. If someone can't be persuaded with words, perhaps a more forceful approach is necessary? You're basically removing obstacles from the equation. Really? Well... This transition may be easier than I thought. Now, let's get that coffee delivered. I'll gladly take mine. And since Yuko's still a no-show, feel free to keep hers. The other recipients are eagerly waiting for you in the conference room. Just waiting for more info. As usual. Got my eye on you.
Ah, coffee. You'd think we'd want to support our own subsidiary and get tranquility more often, but Terra Brew it is. What is it? We can buy something. Ah, another tea lover to join the ranks. Christine would love to meet you. Tea talk aside, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lyndon Calderi, Chief Financial Officer. I'll be the one deducting expenses from your pay every time you manage to screw up. Which, from the sound of it, might be often. We'll see. We've yet to have an operative with a perfect record. This introduction was... not annoying. I hope our future encounters are as productive. Just what I needed. Imogene said she hired someone new. I'm Genevieve, head of marketing and public relations. Uh, me and an entire department at my back. Anyway, it's good to put a face to the new operative. The only question now is how much work are you going to be? A few slip-ups are to be expected. Just know that one screw-up for you means a lot of overtime and sleepless nights for me and my team. So, any precautions you can take will be greatly appreciated. Coffee, finally. Well, let's have a look at you. If only pleasure was the word for it. I'm Alexis Price, head of the legal department here, and I'll be direct. Any legal troubles you cause as an operative, witnesses getting arrested, are my troubles. So steer clear of law enforcement. We may have connections with Administrator Bayou and the Free Star Rangers, but they aren't the ones I prefer to abuse. Unfortunately, I can't argue with that. Completing your assignment is the priority. Just be aware that some of us still have to suffer the consequences. So, fetching coffee one minute, and junior operative the next. Camden Cho, supply chain manager for Ryujin. We won't work together much, but as part of the same department, hopefully I'll be seeing you around. Ah, oh, so she remembered. Not that I expect much out of Terra Brew Coffee, but hey, I suspected their grinder was on its last leg. Anyway, welcome to the team. Oh, and just a heads up, people in your position don't typically see the brighter side of Ryujin Industries. But rest assured, this is a great company, and the work we do goes toward benefiting millions. Well, NeuroAMPs for one. They aid in mental illness, confidence boosting, and focus. Drone robots for maintenance and security, tranquility for relaxation, Arboron for protection. Your work only helps us improve and expand upon these products that so many people love and benefit from. I get your point, but if anything, take comfort in knowing that you're the one deciding the methods behind your assignments. Not only that, but corporate espionage is the norm. Ryujin just handles it better than most. Competitor operatives have done far worse to accomplish less. Please do. It's easy to get wrapped up in the bad if that's all you see. Of course, you'll be forming your own opinions as you go. Just keep an open mind. Oh, and thanks for the coffee. I'm a little busy right now. I hope you enjoyed your little meet and greet. I thought you'd like to know the execs who you'll be impacting while on the job. That doesn't surprise me. Now that you've met a few of the execs, let's get you started. 
We have reason to believe that our friends at Kelp Corp are trying to hack into our R&D server, since we're both competing for a contract right now. <sighs> Hardly. This is the standard run-of-the-mill tactic we've come to expect from them. We can't allow them to win the contracts, nor can we allow the action to go unpunished. I'll be giving you a data slate with a file that you'll need to upload through one of their computers. That's up for you to determine. Think of it as the creative aspect of your job. There's always more than one way to get a job done around here. Think of it as a lesson that Keltcorp gets to learn the hard way. Remember, this is confidential. We can't have anyone at Keltcorp getting suspicious. When all is said and done, it should be as if you were never there. Here's the data slate. Good luck. Let me get rid of all these people. I find the interior of this ship comforting. Welcome back. A deal with a man who wanted us dead. I guess we can call that a win. What do you think? I agree. This life suits both of us, don't you think? Hopefully the effort required here was unique. I do not wish to make a habit of this. All in all, a great success. Thank you for allowing me to tag along with Constellation's newest star. <laughs> yes, I used a pun. Forgive me. smell is
can't talk. I've got a deadline. What do you want up. to do for the break, Ritter? I don't know, but I gotta get out of here. It's been non-stop interruptions since this morning, and I'm not spending another break at my desk listening to Cody eat with his mouth open. Hmm. One of those days, huh? Please try not to alert anyone to what you're doing. You know what, screw it. Hold her right there! You're under arrest! Yeah? I'll go with you. We can pick up an extra for Chloe if she asks. I can't remember if I already searched you. I must have, right? Let's go back to the station. <laughs> Well, look who survived their first assignment. How'd it go? Anything to report? I know what you mean, but that's your missing. I heard you made quite the scene in the Trade Tower. Something I explicitly told you we wanted to avoid. If you recall, setbacks mean a lot of things for a lot of people. Payoffs, cover stories, cleanup crews. You get my drift. The cleaner your work, the more intact your payments stay. I'm sure you understand. Lucky for you, there'll be no docks in pay today. Just try to be more careful in the future. Oh, I can. Because it's exactly the kind of work I used to deliver back when I was in your shoes. In the meantime, I'll make sure that slate is properly disposed of. So, now that we know you're capable of handling some light cyber mischief, let's try your hand at a little uh, framing. Hello? And I'd argue that arts and crafts is exactly what we do here, just on a much higher level. One of our subsidiaries, Arboron, is currently competing for a contract against Laredo. 
Now, the buyer likes to keep their associations clean, and we'll be sending a representative to Laredo in Aquila City for an evaluation. We just need you to visit their office first and accidentally leave behind some incriminating evidence against their company. The inspection will be similar to an audit. These things are usually pretty thorough. Filing cabinets, desks, I trust you can be smart about it. We want a clean and careful job. Obviously, we don't want any bad press at this point, or we could lose the deal. I don't want to hear any news about bounties or bodies coming out of Aquila City. Oh, the best part is we don't even have to fabricate this information. We're just exposing what Laredo would rather keep hidden. Here's the slate we need you to plant. It holds confidential files that'll cast the perfect negative light on our friends at Laredo. Now, get going. I warned people that Homo was unstable and what not happened. to be back in our own ship.
to hand over the artifact and turn away from this path. Oh, that's not any type of ship I recognize. The fact that you do not know says much. We are the Starborn, and you are unworthy to possess the artifacts. I do not recall that we asked your permission. Tell us, please. What are the artifacts? What are they for? Did you make them? What gives you more right to them than humanity? Answering your questions is exactly what we cannot allow. Abandon your thirst for knowledge or drown in it. Just knowing what you are be dangerous. Our distance from you is the whole point. We interfere now because we must. I'm not liking what I'm seeing on the scans. The energy output from that ship is far above the normal range. If we spin up the grab drive now, we have a chance. sensors. <laughs> Everyone's going to want to weigh in on this. Expansion must be very difficult for Aquila, with the native wildlife being what it is.
Services tech is in the hot up at the front if you need him. Anything I can help you with? Sure thing. We'll get it fixed up. Good as new. Sure. How about it?
Nothing for us to do. I know Aquila City rather well. Perhaps better than I would like. Reminds me of the Fallout 3, I think, with the Wasteland City. I heard Mr. Wright's gonna be looking for an apprentice soon. Robot takes a peach of a job. Can you get certified in time? It shouldn't be a problem. You sure he doesn't have someone in mind already? He might. You're an hard worker, smart. All you need is an interview, and I know he'll hire you. Thanks. Let's see what kind of trouble I can get. The UC can't be that bad, can it? So we had to clean up the graffiti on the range again. Why don't we just close it down? It's not like it gets much use. I need some place to put the prototypes through their paces. It stays. But you know, stretch trash will come back and loiter. Or worse. Let them. A few beer bottles and graffiti is the least we owe them. Yes, Miss Vance. If you need help, I don't think we typically allow customers up here. Everything on the level, and we'll get along grand. Please let me know if I can be of service. Here's what I have in stock right now. Miss Lance is the one you want to speak to. I think you'll find that we care. Indeed. As a matter of fact, they're made in this very building. You're standing in the storefront of the Laredo Firearms Factory. I designed and manufactured every firearm for sale here. As such, I can offer you my personal assurance they're of the highest quality. When a CEO distances herself from the customers, her decision-making suffers. Here I get to see what matters, what sells, what doesn't, and why. It's invaluable. Plus, it's better than the endless meetings. Thank you for coming by. There's not enough to do around here.
you have my attention. Until next time. How quickly can you get that done? What did you need? A good team always shares the load. So... Yes. Goodbye. sorts in Aquila City. Just do your business and
there's something in here. Can we speak for a moment? I wanted to thank you for giving me the chance to work with you. I know we met under um, unusual circumstances. You seem to be acclimating well to Constellation. Are you enjoying working with them? I think none of us were expecting what we have found. Well, perhaps, Matteo. You have certainly become a vital part of the organization. That is a credit to your abilities. If I may, from what you have seen, do you think I fit in well with the rest of Constellation? I cannot tell if that is a compliment or an attempt to avoid the question. I will assume the former. I have a very different background from the rest of Constellation. I carry myself differently. I worry that some of the others are unable to see past this. I have not shared much, but everyone knows I worked with smugglers for years. I am no stranger to violence and death. I know. For those that have not lived it, it can be difficult to imagine or accept. Others here have seen conflict, but for more noble causes. Vladimir is the only one here who can begin to understand. He was the one who pressed the group to include me. I lack his charm. He puts others at ease. I fear my presence does the opposite. Uh, that is kind of you. You also have a lot going. Uh, <laughs> I am... I, I find expressing affection difficult, but... Um, but truly. Thank you. I know this seems trivial. Uh, perhaps childish. I have just always relied only on myself. I have never been surrounded by people like this. By a group I... I wish to be a part of. Does that make sense? And yet here we are, working together. And that has, I think, gone very well. Discussing these things is challenging for me. I hope now you can better understand why I wanted to keep the circumstances of our meeting quiet. I wanted to thank you for not saying anything to Vladimir. I know that you said you wouldn't, but it is still a relief. I would like my contributions to Constellation to amount to more than violence. It would have been, to some. Thank you for talking this over with me. It is good to know that at least one member of Constellation understands me. is one of the oldest cities in the settled systems. I think you'll find that we carry fine weapons of all kinds here. Come back anytime. Just here for security. Talk to Miss Lance if you want to make a purchase.
I steer clear of the stretch. Lots of crime over there. Just do your business and move along. Then we'll be all friendly. off immediately or are there other matters that require your attention nice to see you let's get to the lodge we need to discuss this with everyone hey it's always a good day when you come around
security's got its eyes on Saburo Ogadipo. That guy's trouble for the status quo. about me I am not here I was hoping you'd show up soon is it done excellent I'll let you Laro know that we can start moving forward with our negotiations now I think it's time to examine a different set of skills It's a decent start, but we'll see. Your next assignment is to find the security chief and use some creative thinking to obtain their security key card. And when I say creative, I don't mean with a weapon. Either look the part and be persuasive, or be quick with your hands. No corporation wears murder well around here. We may take some extreme measures, but the less mess, the better. Now. If you need to find yourself a hobby outside of work, to do that, feel free. Just don't let anyone here know about it. I'm sure you'll be able to get that keycard without incident. Just remember, if anything does happen, it's up to you to bail yourself out.
You sure you belong here? You need help with something? That is a pretty huge favor. Especially coming from someone I don't even know. If it's an emergency, it sounds like you need to make time for those details. I thought I made myself clear. I'm not giving you my card. It'll take more than being... Yeah, yeah, okay, I get it. Here's the card. Just make sure you give it back when you're done. This area is for loading and unloading only. Keep moving. You know, I went to chef school. This ain't exactly where I saw myself. There, got that key card for me? I think of security the same way too, but don't let Dalton know I said that. Overall, not bad for a novice. I think you're ready to kick things up a notch, and your timing couldn't be better. All's fair when it comes to capitalism, right? This next assignment requires a bit more discretion for two reasons. First, you'll be dealing with high-level executives, and second, you'll be in the Astral Lounge here in Neon. I suspect a great many things could occur in the Astral Lounge without anyone taking notice. The assignment is pretty easy. Our techs failed to uncover a potential deal between Infinity LTD and Quantum Synergies. Your job is to make sure that deal fails. Infinity LTD is one of our aspiring competitors. They have products in several similar fields, ships and neuroamps being the exception. Quantum Synergies specializes in ship operating software. We don't consider them a major competitor since their product line is so narrow. If the two are meeting to work out a contract, that tells us Infinity must be looking to get into the ship business. And we'd like to delay that, if we can. It's already been taken care of. All you need to worry about is the job at hand. You'll be speaking with Quantum Synergy's executive director, Zola Adisa, and their financial manager, Arthur Cruz. I'll be giving you a dossier on both. I strongly suggest you read them for talking points. I suppose I can give you a brief rundown. We'll start with Zola. Zola is a born and bred executive. It runs in the family, so she's highly accustomed to an upper-class lifestyle. She's a narcissist who's also obsessed with public perception, both of her and quantum synergies. She wants to be associated with the latest and greatest, so she is drawn to innovation and quality. She's considered it, but she's next in line to be CEO over at Quantum. If she came here, she'd have to deal with stiff competition. As for her talking points, the key things to remember are, Infinity is the cheap version of Ryujin. They're a follower, not a leader, and they lack any sense of clear vision. They've launched several, but none survive long. 
Nothing that would be as big as neuroamps or grab drives. That's why they've taken to just following whatever trends companies like Ryujin set. If they can't make money off ingenuity, they can certainly sell someone a cheaper version of a more expensive product they may want. Infinity LTD's strategy to make money is to cut cost on quality. You can compare any one of our products to theirs and see it almost instantly. Low-grade synthetics, flimsy thin materials, high energy usage, they issue at least one or two recalls a year. Just remember, you can refer to the dossier at any time as a refresher. Now, on to Arthur Cruz. Arthur is a self-made man, and he prides himself on that. He's a full package, having both an extremely good knack for numbers and knowing how to talk to people. As Quantum Synergy's financial manager, he's all about driving profit with as little risk as possible. He makes decisions based on facts and heavily researched trends. It sounds like the two of you could really hit it off. Arthur's a great talker, but even the best can lose an audience when finance is the topic. Talking points for Arthur are aimed at steering him toward Ryujin over Infinity LTD. Ryujin's profits are 25.7% higher than Infinity's, even with a superior quality product. Infinity's profits are fabricated. They're one audit away from ruin. We have a history of being financially secure that's never wavered. And we have the legal and marketing teams to handle anything that might threaten that. Quantum Synergies is the top name in ship OS. Their reputation has allowed them to keep the best engineers on their payroll. We can't deny that working with them would be beneficial for us, and Arthur is our best bet in making that happen. Besides, an open collaboration gives us easier access to information we'd otherwise have to find a more clever means of discovering. Sounds like you're ready then. I'd still highly recommend reading the dossiers though. Sometimes bullet-pointed statements can stick out in minds easier than conversation. Just as long as you don't sound like you're reading out of a book. The Infinity LTD rep is Nina Hart. I'll also be giving you an altered version of her presentation to swap out with the original. We've changed several figures, just enough to cause sufficient confusion throughout their meeting. Exactly. And that incompetence will be enough for them to further question this deal. Finally, I recommend dressing appropriately, so I've taken the liberty of having a suit made for you. We need absolute discretion on this one. I don't want any SSNN broadcasts about murder in the Astral Lounge. Got it? I bet you are. Just remember to keep a low profile. Don't let the Astral Lounge distract you too much. Cursor. Charismatic and friendly enjoys talking to people. Stickler for facts and details. Driven by credits and how to increase his accounts. Financial security is in everything. So he's money. Infinity points are fabricated. One audit would ruin that. Ryujin's profits are 25 by side quality product. Marketing legal teams can't compare to Ryujin's. Ryujin Industries provides financial security. Dear mother, retired CFO. Does assist with public relations. Narcissist, obsessed with public perception. Appreciation for emotions and appearances. Drawn toward innovation, joint comparison of community. Quality is key. Strong dislike to be associated with Cheap bread. Okay. Let's see the mission. Gotcha.
lost. I have a job to do. Be careful if you run into those ecliptic jerks. They fly around like they own the devil. to impress here on business or just out to escape ah same here nothing like a business trip paid in full especially when there's good downtime <laughs> that would be infinity LTD Risky, you say. By all means, enlighten me. Cheap is a word quantum synergy should never be associated with. I believed our team had thoroughly researched infinity. But your comment gives me pause. Instability was cited as a pain point, but one we could deal with as long as we maintained control of all joint projects. However, upheaval always comes with its own series of issues, delays, morale, public perception, and Drexler has yet to prove he can provide the consistency that I would prefer. Perhaps it really is more than I'm willing to undertake. A surprising conversation, and one I would never expect from someone such as yourself. I suppose the old saying, never judge a book by its cover, is appropriate here. It seems I have quite a bit to reconsider now. So, it looks like the pleasure aspect of my trip needs to be postponed. Thank you for the insight. and Bayou hasn't let this place slip a single notch. The man knows how to run a business. Well, I take that as a compliment. Coming from someone as well-dressed as yourself, you've either got great taste or great connections. Maybe even both. Tell me, you don't happen to work for Infinity LTD, do you? Got something against Infinity, I take it. I'd love to hear your reasons why. That's an awfully big claim to make. You'd have to have some inside details on their operation. However, it does match some of my own research that I've been conducting into their finances. Aren't you the resourceful one? That number tracks with the insider details I've been getting. Hmm, interesting. Look, it was nice meeting you. And I quite enjoyed our little talk. But it sounds like I need to take another look at some data before I head into this presentation of theirs. See you around, and maybe next time I'll be doing business with you. Well, she's moping around because she lost something important. Break it open.
problem. That wasn't too bad, was it? Interaction is part of the gig. Sure, it's not for everyone, but just think about it this way. You're the one running the show out there. Use the information we provide, and chances are high they'll never have a clue. Overall, not bad for your first high-profile assignment. You even earned yourself a bonus, which Linden was more than happy to give. It is good that our restraint is appreciated. Don't tell me you forgot already. Our financial guru? They're brilliant with numbers. Also, if you ever want an honest opinion about anything, just ask them. They're honest to a fault, and often give their opinion on something whether you want it or not. It's well deserved. Just keep making me look good, and there'll be more where that came from. But no rest for the weary at Ryujin. We've got a decent backlog of assignments, and they just keep coming, so I hope you're still good to go. At least this next one will be a break from all the chatter. Your next assignment is to remind the competitor of their place in the corporate food chain. Some call it retaliation. But we like to think of it as tough love. Not quite. When you uploaded that virus onto Keltcorp's network, that was a warning intended to slow down their internal productivity. Keltcorp suffered the effects of that silently, although I guarantee they endured some serious client complaints. This assignment is about making our target look completely negligent in the public eye. Let's just say we don't tolerate theft or smear campaigns against us. If you want to steal in this industry, you better not get caught. And if you want to tarnish our good name, you better be ready for repercussions. Exactly. A very valuable lesson that they will hopefully learn from. Most corporations live and die by public perception. Trusted products lead to a good reputation, which leads to profits. And, like it or not, we're all here for the profits. Your assignment is to plant an ARC device. The ARC will allow us to frame our competitor for gross negligence and tank the public's perception. ARC stands for Assault, Reprogram, Corrupt. We think of it as a multi-tool of sorts. The ARC locates hard wiring and manipulates the information current being sent back and forth. Depending on the situation, it's designed to do all sorts of things, but inevitably, they all result in malfunction. Good. All you need to do is plant the ARC on the service panel of your target. We can handle the rest from here. Do your best to make sure you aren't seen. The key is to make this look like a malfunction. And good luck. Keep it up, and you'll probably have my job soon. As technicians, we handle threat and post
That's it. Welcome to Hopetown. I don't want to hear you. Excuse me, excuse me. A little desperate here. This is such a long shot. Howdy. All right, Adela. Deep breath. Oh, God. Right. Right. When I signed on to be a freight captain, I was expecting long hours and dull roots. And now I'm a hair away from being executed, or worse. You are sincerely the answer to my prayers. So, I fly a rust bucket called the Markab for a small shipping line. It just started, really. We do bulk shipping, boring stuff like actuators and seed stock and minerals. Have you ever had a standard boring job just blow up in your face? <laughs> you get it then. So I just got assigned to the Markov. The first shipment, slag steel, nothing special. As soon as I left Neon and got scanned, things got crazy. Spacers, Freestar security, the works. Everyone demanding I power down, hand over the contraband, or sometimes just firing first. I skipped the system, ditched the cargo, and have been running ever since. I'm getting to that part, sorry. A tracker just landed and I just know he's hunting a bounty, me. But the trick is, everyone knows the ship. But my info isn't in the database yet. All they got is my last name, Fahim. So if you go into the pit stop and claim you're Captain Fahim of the Markab, maybe you can deal with the tracker? You are the best. This slate has everything they know about me. It's not much. He's the one with the cowboy hat. Just stay safe. Thank you. A fair amount of business runs through Hopetown, and from what I understand, most of it is legal. Ron hopes the best thing that's happened to us. Some rules. If there's one place there's some law and order in this town, it's here. Don't even think about stealing anything. No haggling. The price is the price. And might be some other rules. Don't be an ass. Then we won't have any problems. If you need weapons, the best defense is the only place in town. You may be thinking this place is a dump, but the hardware isn't. Lots of customers pass through. We got something for everyone. Hopefully something catches your eye.
Yes, what? Keep an eye on your valuables. If you can't protect you. Local security handles most problems here. I only get involved when it's something big. New face, huh? Got some business with me or just learning the lay of the land? That's so. Well, I hope I lived up to your expectations. Ranger Niakalu. I'm a Hope Town girl born and raised, so I know a lot of the locals. Helps me do the job. That being said, keeping the peace around here is more the job of local security. No problem. Not usually. Local security handles most of their issues. Every once in a while, though, we need access to sensitive information as part of our work. Badge or not, some folks aren't fond of letting us poke around in their books and personnel files. Honestly, though, it's not that common. Most people are willing to work with us because they know it's in everyone's best interest. Think of it as a small picture, big picture proposition. The small picture is local trouble, things that happen here in Hopetown. Handling that is local security's job. We Rangers protect the entire Freestar Collective, so we deal with problems that span multiple worlds. Smuggling rings, escaped convicts, pirates preying on shipping. Those are the kind of things we handle. That's why there are Rangers stationed in different settlements. It lets us cast a wide net. Bye. Always something good going on. We'd be dust. Fat. I have never liked Hope Tech ships. Though I suppose that is hardly the point of Can them. I help you? Welcome to Hope Tech Sales. Give me your invoice. You got the financing set up already? Oh, a potential customer, huh? Well, what you need to know about our ships is they're from stern about built for reliability. Other star yards might got glitz or some weird crazy lines. With Hope Tech, you get people that care about you making that 300th freight run safely and on time. When it gets tough, pretty won't keep you alive. I'm just saying. So what are you in the market for? Let me show you our inventory. Worlders, nothing good ever comes from them. If you're looking to make a purchase, I don't handle that personally. Niall Raymond should be able to help you. Do you mind? I'm a very busy man.
perhaps not the wisest decision. People joke, say those Varun zealots worship a snake. But let me tell you, it ain't a snake. It's some kind of celestial being. They call it the Great Serpent. Is it real? <laughs> Hell if I know. But they think it is. And that makes them dangerous. Keep it holster. We'll get along fine. Hey. <clears throat> I'm new in town. You look like you just got here too, right? What's your name, stranger? I buy you a drink. Friends call me Ernesto. Actually, everyone does. Because it's my name and all. And you? A little of this, a little of that. I like to keep busy. Fahim, huh? Came in on that ship to Markab? I bet you didn't know it, but I'm a tracker, and I'm here for your bounty. Two ways this can go. You know the drill. Bounty says you made off with a haul of medical supplies, meant for orphans, or something. I get a bonus if I turn the shipment in sight unseen. I figure they're in the markup. Looks like a place that doesn't mind some color. Or you can surrender. I trank you up, deliver you, they kill you. Nobody ever picks that option. I don't deal with smugglers and no good types. Well, I do, but more violent like. My words, my bond. Yeah, they never see me coming, but something don't sit right with me, not sure what. Maybe, maybe not. The bounty is awfully large for what they're saying. All right, I'm not taking you in. But that just means somebody else will. Whatever you were shipping, you got to return it. The next tracker probably won't be as upstanding as I am.
Suit yourself. But you may want to re-up your life insurance policy. One more drink and it's lift off. As vital as... Excuse me. I feel sick. I feel like I can finally breathe again. Thank you. You think? I mean, of course they will. Oh, God. I don't mean to be ungrateful and all, but I really, really need to go. Thank you. like to play hard here. Oh, we can pause for a moment. Hey, what's going on? Starboard. Hey there, got an update for me? Good work. Now I can let Masako know how much she'll enjoy watching the news tonight. Now, on to the next, right? Oh, but before I forget, the results of your Astral Lounge escapades are in. I'm happy to say that the deal was officially called off. Masako was very pleased with the outcome. So she arranged the bonus through Linden. Apparently you said all the right things when it came to Arthur. Quantum Synergies actually reached out to us to negotiate the potential deal. I wouldn't hold your breath on that one. Several other parties will be involved in that deal on a more legitimate level. And believe me, bonuses like this for operatives are few and far between. Not to mention you scored big in the reliability department. It makes this next assignment seem a bit lackluster, but it still carries weight. In order to stay on top of the market, we have to know what our competition is doing. The next assignment requires a more brute force approach, since the chances of them sharing that information is unlikely. Correction. You are going to steal from them. Don't forget, if you get caught, Ryujin will deny all knowledge. Good. Luckily, there aren't many, besides the usual. Your target is a prototype schematic for a new engine that Trident Luxury Lines is working on. According to the rumors, it's projected to be 17% more efficient than any engine on the market. The current schematic was sent to their star yard to begin prototyping, so they could be in the office area or the factory floor.
The Trident Star Yard orbits Aquila in the Cheyenne system, so you'll still be in free star space. I feel bad for whoever gets to inform the executives about the theft of something so valuable. Just remember to keep things clean. The results are more satisfying that way. Hello there. Welcome to Trident Luxury Lines, where we craft the finest and most luxurious starships in the galaxy. If you have any questions about our product line, or would like to book a cruise, I'll do my very best to assist you. Now, how may I help you today? Is a Trident best in class, top to bottom? No. Clearly no. 
Deimos has fantastic missile batteries. Stroud Eklund's shields are a thing to behold. But what a trident may lack in those areas. It more than makes up for in style, luxury, and comfort. A cruise on a trident can be a truly life-changing experience. Of course, it's a point of pride to know my employer's products, as well as their strengths and weaknesses. It's a character trait that is extremely valuable. And if I'm being honest, I have my own dreams of going out there one day. It's important to know the pros and cons of each ship, as I'm sure you're well aware. Unfortunately, all of our cruises are booked for the foreseeable future. That should speak volumes about the quality of our products. Our cruises become more and more popular every year as new models are released. We do not sell ships or parts at this location. And it's not like you would have any use for parts or modifications anyway. A trident ship is already perfect as it is. Certainly. Goodbye. I have heard much debate on whether trident ships are overpriced. I have never flown one myself, so I cannot be sure. It is an honor to be part of something so great. This is worth the effort. Everything okay?
Just the person I wanted to see. You got that schematic? And we aim to keep it that way. I need to deliver this to Vina so she can start the reverse engineering process, but first, Ulara wants to see you. I've upgraded your security level so you can access the executive floor, where her office is. Tell her assistant Maeve, you have an appointment. I won't be far behind, in case you get lost. It says something, does it not? That the executives wish to have everyone else physically beneath them? I hate waiting. Can There's I help you? To doubt myself. Name an appointment. That's neither your name or appointment. If you're expected, I need that information before allowing you in. So again... Name and appointment. He's with me, Maeve. We have an appointment with Ularu. She should be expecting us. Thank you, Imogene. I'll mark you down as confirmed. Ularu's in a meeting with Genevieve, but they should be done any minute now if you want to wait right here. Thanks, Maeve. Well, sooner than I thought. Looks like Ularu's ready now. Oh, one more thing. Keep out of my you way. You know, if they aren't yours. willing, that leaves us with only one option. God, Ularu, is that always your response? I don't want another PR mess on my hands. Yes, Viv, because you're too good at your job. Now, we can talk details later. My next appointment's here. Fine, but you can break this news to Alexis at our next meeting. I've got my eye on you. Good, you're finally here. The one I've been hearing so much about. I'm Ularu Chen, head of operations here at Ryujin. So tell me, what do you think of your new job so far? In that case, it sounds like our initial impression of you is turning out to be quite accurate. Now, my dear genie here says you've been through the basics of what we do and pulled off success every time. Five successful standard assignments, and one specialized. Oh, a few incidents here and there, but nothing we can't handle, right? I happen to have a personal assignment that I'd like to send you on. One that involves meeting up with an outside contact. Genie seems to think you're more than capable of handling it. He's the best operative I've ever hired. <laughs> Let's not forget the only operative you've ever hired. Meeting with outside contacts isn't always as straightforward as your past assignments. Some can be fickle or demanding, so you'll need to decide how to handle them and what decisions to make on the fly. That's exactly the type of operative I want. Someone who doesn't take no for an answer. Your contact is Simon Rychek. He claims to have information on a new project that Infinity LTD is working on. He said it's a game changer that Ryujin would be especially interested in. So his asking price is the big thing to consider. Finance will reimburse up to a thousand credits. So if you have negotiation skills, use them. You get reimbursed once the assignment is complete. But the immediate cost is on you. If you don't have the money by now due to poor financial skills, I can only hope your negotiation skills are up for the challenge. Now in order to confirm your identity, Simon prefers code phrases. I'll let Genie give you the details on this one because the concept is just beneath me. Simon is into sports, so he enjoys any opportunity to talk about them. At some point, he'll casually say, Looks like the Galactic Raiders are the number one pick for the Universal Championship this year. You get to respond with, 
Razor Derby is the only real sport. Got it? Razor Derby is the only real sport. Yes, got it. Exactly. Just get what we need. You'll find him above the Lux Condos in Sidonia's Plaza. You spoke very highly of this one, Genie. Let's hope he doesn't make a liar out of you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some things to take care of. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Systems are nominal. We are ready to depart. living here? I simply cannot. I need to find a real bar. You lost? Or just come to ask an out-of-work miner how his day's going? Ugh. Only good thing worth talking about these days is sports. Speaking of... Looks like the Galactic Raiders are the number one pick for the Universal Championship this year. You're damn right it is. <laughs> I heard they were sending someone new. Nice to see you made it. I have information on a deal being proposed between Infinity LTD and Deimos Stockyards. It's my belief that your employers would be highly interested in the details. So I'm upping my price. It's steep, yes. But that is why I'm also offering a little side job if you can't pay up. At least you're being open about the fact that you are gouging us. For this little tidbit... <laughs> Believe me, I know exactly what this is worth. Hold on. I never said that was my final offer. Depending on what you have in mind, I may consider it. All right, I'll lower the price. But that's my final offer. Unless you may prefer the side job now. I knew you'd see reason. The information I have is on a deal for something called Project Dominion. I'm giving you two slates. They contain surveillance and interaction data for Stanley McMillan, the Infinity Rep, that I obtained myself. I'm also giving you a third slate because you're going to need to download the files on Project Dominion off his computer yourself. Getting information is what you people do. I'm just a lowly yet very well paid informant. Here to point you in the right direction. 
Best guess is it has something to do with <laughs> Infinity getting into the Nero Amp business. Stanley McMillan seemed to think Ryujin would be the one company threatened by this news. So their entry must involve something big. Oh, they will. What the hell are you doing in this dump of a city anyway? You draw the short stick at work or what? Infinity sent me to get Deimos to bite on a deal. Who's even got a catchy code name? Project Dominion. Sounds like world domination to me, buddy. I'd buy into that in a heartbeat. Right? I'm telling you, this Project Dominion is the real deal. We ought to be selling this to Inception or Quantum. Hell, you should be in the Astral Lounge making Ryujin Industries beg for that tech. <laughs> That'd be the greatest irony of them all, but not this baby. Dominion is finally going to put Infinity first. We'll beat Ryujin at their own game. Visually pleasing. Ah, uh, Deimos. One of the earliest shipbuilders. is protected, there will hopefully be valuable data. We had struck oil.
Well, that took longer than expected. I hope whatever information Simon had was worth it. <laughs> You've got a little spark in you. I like it. Now, let's see if what Mr. Rycheck found was worth all the fuss. Give me a moment to run a decryption. Let's see... Got the key, deciphering, and... done. Well, well, well. Looks like our friend Simon wasn't joking. This is a sales initiative for Project Dominion. It's not an Infinity LTD design. It's one of ours. <laughs> they didn't even bother to scrub the name. Meaning someone never thought they'd get caught. Come with me. Masako needs to hear about this. I've got my eye on you. Hey, Em. Ularu? What is this about? Who is this? This is our latest junior operative. I sent him on an assignment to rendezvous with an informant. But here's the real news. Infinity LTD has gotten their hands on Project Dominion. Impossible. Not only that, they're trying to sell it under their own name. Of course they are. <sighs> we need fines to investigate this immediately. Since you found this information, I am trusting you to help investigate. You see, Project Dominion is confidential. It requires a high security clearance to even know it exists. If Infinity LTD has obtained any information on it, that means we have a very well-connected mole within our corporation. Because you exposed this information. I have little reason to suspect you. That won't mean you'll be exempt from investigation, of course. Clearly this is not the first time Ryujin has found itself in this situation. Exactly. I want you to go see Dalton Fines, our chief security officer. I'll send him the details. You've brought an enormous security violation to our attention, so I trust your help in any way possible. And thank you. Some operatives may have seized this as an opportunity for extortion. It's good to know your loyalty lies with us. Yes, you do. Eugen CEO is no joke. Good, you're here. So, thanks to your work in Sidonia, I'm told someone here has leaked information on Project Dominion to our adversaries at Infinity LTD. A mole within the company means a failing in my department. We're initiating Security Directive Theta, which means a full sweep of every employee in this building, Masako and myself included. We certainly are. Directive Theta has one unique case, and that's Ularu Chen. The Directive calls for a specialized programmer known as Nix to investigate her, but he'll need your assistance for an unusual assignment. We don't deal in trust here. Think more in terms of mutual benefit and leverage. And in this case, it's mutual benefit. Nix will be giving you a program to run on Ularu's computer that will pull any data needed to prove her guilty or innocent. Your job is to infiltrate Ryujin Tower 
as an anonymous outsider in order to run this program. Completely off the books. This means your keycard will be turned off, and the security guards in the building will consider you to be trespassing. Directive Theta requires utmost secrecy for success. We don't know what connections the Mole may have, so we can't risk informing our security team. If you get caught, the guards will follow standard procedure and lock you up in a cell for questioning. Provided you don't provoke them. And I strongly advise against provoking them. These are your fellow employees. We want this to go as smoothly as possible. We employ over 100 members of our security team who rotate floors and shifts. It's possible you'll be recognized, but even so, my orders will be strict. Authorized security personnel only. And you certainly won't qualify, making you an immediate suspect. At least one of us is. In the meantime, I'll ensure all non-essential employees Ularu included, have left the building, claiming routine security maintenance. During that time, I'll be unlocking access to the tower's ventilation system, which you can utilize to help avoid detection. I'm also issuing you a disruptor, which should help in avoiding casualties should a worst-case scenario turn up. Ularu doesn't know about Directive Theta. But she'll fully expect a building closure while we investigate. As far as she knows, it's standard procedure. One that she no doubt has already made accommodations for. This is why we're bringing in a third party. She won't be expecting to go up against Neon's best. And it's also why secrecy is of utmost importance. Not even our own security detail can know. In case the information leaks. Good. No one can know about this, not even our own guards. So stealth will be of utmost importance. You'll meet Nix at Madame Sauvage's place. He knows Director Theta has been enacted. Don't cause any trouble. Don't wander into any restricted areas. There's shortages over at Reliant Medical. Not Calf out there, buddy. Someone in my business, there's no better place. Still cheaper than you got an appointment? Because if not, consider this area reserved. Oh, yeah, Dalton's little errand runner. I've written up a program just for the occasion, but as Ryujin knows, it's yours for either a price or a favor. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's not. Uh, Ryujin is my second best long-term client. 
Uh, you know, part of me could find some wiggle room. All right, you win. No wonder Ryujin hired you. A pleasure, as always. Your job is simple. Just run this little beauty on Ilaro Chen's computer, and the program will take care of the rest. Once you're done, bring the slate back to me at my place. Whatever encryption Ilaro has is bound to take some real work. More than my little setup here can handle. It's nice to see you know more than just sneaking around and talking a good game. Here's the slate. I'll be waiting. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bad part of town, buddy. I'm gonna do you a favor. Head back to Bayou Plaza before the Disciples get you. A gang. Worst gang there is. They'll stab you for kicks, taking bets on how long you squeal before you bleed out. And that's not a hyper whatchamacallit. They seriously did that. <laughs> Poor Ted. We gotta look out for each other, right? Us crate rats used to think the Ebside strikers were awful, with all the muggings and shakedowns, but now that they're on the ropes, kinda wish they weren't just holed up in Madame Sauvages. Streets are getting bad. Real bad. Well, you'll find them at Madame Sauvages. They're always holding auditions, as they call it. Looking for new blood. So, for being so helpful, what with the disciples and all? Hey, thanks. Look, I mean it. Go back to the.
I have little use for robots, especially ones too small to carry supplies or serve as cover in combat. I enjoy a great many foods and drinks. Tea has never been one of them. to be here. I'm holding you for trespassing. <sighs> nice try, but the building is off limits. You sure didn't get in by any authorized means. Why don't you just hold... <sighs> this isn't getting... I'm starting to think you... Enough talking. You're coming with me. I trust we have learned our lesson. harder for yourself.
I have little use for robots, especially ones too small to carry supplies or serve as cover in combat. I could not accomplish that.
Ryujin has certainly taken time to craft an appearance for itself. Nero amps are fascinating, are they not? I'm still surprised they have not been completely outlawed. Ryujin security. No sudden moves. Nice try, but the building is off limits. You sure didn't get in by any authorized means. I'll be... Maybe I'm just being paranoid. Yeah, I hear you. Look, I'll trust you, but if any of us catch you on another floor, we'll shoot first and ask questions later. Nero amps are fascinating.
in and out with no fatalities. Dalton will be pleased. I think you may be trying to take a little too much on. Yes? Did you need me? Right. Make yourself at home. Just don't take any souvenirs while you're here. So, you made it. Guess Ryujin's security really is slipping. <laughs> Just brimming with confidence, aren't you? But I've seen your work in the Trade Tower, so I'll at least give you some credit. Now, I'll take that program back that I gave you, and let's give the data a look. I hope for all that was necessary in acquiring it. This data finally reveals some answers. The program I gave you to run on Ularu's computer basically opens an all-access back door for me. I can see everything and anything, so let's take a look. Ularu has some impressive encryption on her files. Not that I can't crack it, of course. Circumventing protections, running decryption... This should just take a moment now. 
Damn, I'm good. That went faster than I thought. I'm saving several files to a slate for Dalton, including access history and anything related to Project Dominion. Adding in new encryption for him as well, so he's the only one that can view these. And done. You're all set. I've got the new encrypted slate. Let me tell you, it looks like fun times ahead for Ryujin. Technically, I'm not supposed to look, but it's kind of hard to not see what's going on while running all my software. Since you came through on your end, let's just say that slate isn't going to paint the best picture for Ms. Imogene Sauzo. But bear in mind, you're dealing with some pretty talented people when it comes to falsifying information. I can be sure, because I know my business. But, like anything, evidence alone can't tell the full story. The rest is up to you and Dalton to piece together. And don't be too sure about that. Imogene was practically raised in the corporate underworld. I'd almost guarantee there's intent behind everything she does. Here's the slate. As usual, always a pleasure doing business with Ryujin. What is it? It's a bad place for you. I assume you were successful. I didn't get any incident reports last night, so I applaud your work. I expected as much. Now, let's see what we have here. Someone's been accessing Ularu's files remotely. It's quite a complicated trace, too. I'm impressed Nix was able to track all of this. Damn. And there's our culprit. Imogene Salzo, senior operations specialist, and one of the few I had in mind for who could pull this off. Either that, or she's highly displeased with someone at the company. I imagine that constantly worrying about who can be trusted, who is telling the truth, takes quite a toll on everyone who works here. Well, before we make any harsh decisions, I'll need to question her myself. I want you to head to her office and escort her here. We have to make sure she doesn't try anything before I have a chance to speak with her. Don't put anything past her. When you're dealing with corporate workers, discerning the truth from the lies is the hardest part. Keep out of my way and I'll keep out of yours. This could be the most important meeting of my career. 
Gala at the new Atlantis Free Star Embassy. Try not to harass my text too much. They have work to do. Well, let me guess. Looking for Imogene? I'm sure you can tell by now. She isn't here. Which is a shame, since I have several documents I need her to sign off on. She's always been the master of avoiding desk work. There are work skills, and there are life skills. I can't help it if I have both. She hasn't stepped into the office since the maintenance closure, probably abusing her paid time off again. I know for a fact she doesn't have any external meetings or business trips. I'm not even sure that's any business of yours, but I do enjoy keeping close tabs on my counterpart. Dare I ask why you need to know? Aren't you the boring one? I have Imogene's last location at Frankie's Grab and Go, which we all know is a front for the Sioka Syndicate. You'll want to get executive sign-off if you plan on chasing after her. I'd say Dalton is your best bet. It is impressive how thoroughly bureaucracy has infected every aspect of this. I forgot you're familiar with Neon and Bayou's intricate web of connections. I suppose if you want to be efficient, you could bypass Dalton and go straight to Bayou. You're just cutting out the middleman, right? Word of advice. If you're planning on forgoing authorization and just tiptoeing your way to Imogene, park your friend at the door. Two's a crowd if you're trying to lay low. Good luck finding Imogene. Oh, and if you do catch up with her, be sure to let her know I had everything to do with it. I'm a little busy right now. Call sending for anyone. What do you want? A heads up. You're telling me you're heading into my own territory. That's not how this works. First, you tell me why. And then if I'm satisfied, I'll graciously grant you permission. As long as it doesn't involve the Syndicate members themselves... I'll tell you what. I'll make sure the Syndicate lets you in hassle-free. Provided you do a little something for me. And what mutual benefit would that be? 
This is starting to sound like my kind of deal. All right. You talk a good game. And I suppose if we're looking at a mutually beneficial situation, there's no reason for me not to allow such a small favor. Check in with Ms. Moore at Frankie's. I'll send word along that you're to be expected, so she shouldn't give you any trouble. Fair warning, the Syndicate should let you search any common areas, but if anyone catches you snooping around private quarters, I'll just say, be prepared for some hostilities. Inside's a bad place for tourists these days. Upside's changed. You lost, kiddo. So you're the one getting special treatment. Don't look like much to me. I've got one rule for you in there. So it shouldn't be hard to remember. Third floor is off limits. They catch you snooping around, and it's open season. Don't worry. She wouldn't be allowed up there either. For the record, I'm only granting you access because I have to. You'll find that young lady you're looking for holed up in a room almost straight ahead. Just remember to keep your eyes on the prize. The less you consider this an open house, the better. Suppose we should assume they actually know how to use all of this, and it is not just for intimidation. I figured our paths would cross sooner or later. Not that I thought I was safe, but I never expected anyone to just slip by all the syndicate here. I had a feeling you'd be the one to come after me. Yeah? And I didn't look guilty before, based on those files you got from Nyx? Laru set me up. Yes, I've been acting as a double agent, but because she ordered me to. The assignment was meant to deceive, not benefit. And Project Dominion is way above my pay grade. It'd be impossible for me to deliver it. At least, intentionally. You're trusting me on this one. Huh. Not to cast doubt on myself, but I fully expected to push my persuasion skills to the limit.
I can see Genevieve and Alexis cringing over those words. If you live in Neon long enough, it's not a surprise you'd start to see the darker side. This slate holds the evidence to prove my innocence. I just need you to make sure Dalton sees it. Let's just hope this does the trick. I'm going to stay here and lay low until I know where Dalton and Masako stand. In the meantime, I know you don't hear it too often, but thank you. How complicated this has become. Can we even trust that if we give the evidence to Dalton, he will accept it? It's a bad place. Look who's back. Dalton's gonna lose it when he finds out you went to the Syndicate without talking to him. True. Dalton couldn't argue with that. At least he had the good sense to speak to Bayou. So tell me, what did you find out? Inside the Syndicate? That area's off limits, and I think we both know why. Imogene knew exactly what she was doing when she went there. <sighs> I had a feeling you'd say that. Enjoy your time with Dalton. It'll all trickle back to me sooner or later. My company's future might be right. Don't cause any trouble. Imogene and I have frequent discussions over security, so the request shouldn't raise any red flags. So, you're finally back. With no sign of Imogene. And here I thought sending you after her would be a simple task. I suppose you suddenly have all the facts now. This explanation better be good. I have a mind to fire you just for that comment. Yes. At least your assignment wasn't a complete waste of time. Evidence against Ularu. Hmm. I hope Imogene realizes if she truly wants to back this up, she'll need to contact us at some point. Now, I need to undertake the laborious task of writing up a report to summarize all of this. In the meantime, Masako has requested your presence in R&D. She wants you to meet her in Vinakara's office. Just take the elevator down to research and development. You'll find Dr. Kara's office to your left as you enter the floor. Once I've examined this evidence, I may need your help in moving forward. And not a word about this to anyone. 
I'll present what I have to the board once I've completed a full report. This deal could be huge for you. site if we want to complete the neuroamp. I'm just concerned the entire station was wiped out by something. Don't worry, we'll figure it out and get that shipment back. Good, you're here. It's time to put a plan in motion to take full control of this situation with Infinity LTD. In due time, we don't know to what extent Infinity has taken the current NeuroAmp schematics, so our top priority is completing our own. Let me introduce you to Vina Kalra, Head of Research and Development. She'll give you the initial details. Yes, details. You see, the internal NeuroAmp is supposed to consist of two parts. The first part, the part Infinity stole, handles the manipulative effects. The second part is a shielding modification designed to protect the user against other neuroamp users. Oh yeah, marketing and finance wouldn't have it any other way. No one wants their greatest asset used against them. Once Vina can complete the internal neuroamp and shielding mod, the plan is to outfit you with both and have you infiltrate Infinity LTD. We can't risk the assignment until we know your mind has the necessary protection. Of course. Installing experimental technology into your very head. What could go wrong? Good. I'm glad you see this as an opportunity. And I love a willing subject. Now it's just a matter of getting the key ingredient. The final kink in both designs was finding compatible materials to use for conductivity that the human body wouldn't reject. I've finally created the perfect alloy, but it requires a newly discovered refined element called rothesite. Which is where I come in. We have a confidential contract with Consolidated Mining to gather, refine, and ship the rothesite straight to us. Their last shipment is late, and neither we nor Consolidated Mining have had any communication with the Karenay station. We not only expect it, we demand it. The outpost has been performing as expected up until now, which is why we're concerned. We need you to head out there, secure the shipment, and bring it back here so Vina can complete her prototype. And I want to know what happened. We need to take any safety measures to make sure this doesn't happen again. That's what I like to hear. The mining station is CM Station RC-1. It's on a moon called Karen A-3A in the Karen A system. The shipment should be in the research and control tower, but the outside doors are kept locked down. This keycard will let you enter the mines so you can access the tower from the inside. Good luck. I fear the worst for the people on that station.
Hopefully they amount to something.
You cannot beat me. Certainly consider this winner takes all is the phrase, is it not? Hmm? Yes, need to see what I'm carrying. That is all. Very well.
Is something amiss? I am happy to help shoulder the load.
am I? I'm just a guy. Hey, what can I do for you? I understand that. I'm not blaming you directly. Dr. Salvato, how long have you been here? And in that case... This area's off limits. Authorized personnel only. An outbreak? I haven't heard anything about this. Uh... Understood. Uh, here's an access card. Good luck. you in here this is a restricted area in that case you'll want to speak to dr. Lane we better get that approval soon excuse me but this is a restricted area you need to leave Uh, your timing could be better. A little warning next time? I'll just take a moment to check up on my patient. I always tell you this could happen, you just never believe it. Running this facility is a challenge, even when there isn't an outbreak of some sort. We have a new competitor in this arc. Here for a chat.
for contraband. Our scan detected contraband on board. Halt and prepare to be boarded. All illegal and stolen goods will be confiscated. Copy that. Stay on course while we escort you in. Back off. That's an order, not a suggestion. Stay out of trouble, or we'll have a problem. keeping you busy is that my beautiful shipment you were right about this one Masako so I've heard now I shall excuse myself and get to work on finalizing this prototype so what did you learn about CM station RC1 Lucas must be desperate if he hired them to collect the Rothesite. Were there any survivors? Good. I may not condone murder, but I refuse to have sympathy for indiscriminate killers like Ecliptic. Especially after massacring innocents working for us. Now, I also had a report that you were spotted at the clinic. I take it you traced the shipment there? Dr. Lane? Hmm. I believe Vina is familiar with his work, specializing in neurosurgery. Were you able to determine what he was doing at the clinic? So. It sounds like Lucas has reached a new level of desperation to ensure his future as CEO. Infinity appears to be on an entirely different level of corruption. It cannot be allowed to continue. I'll make sure Yuko's team extracts every bit of information they can from the clinic's database on this. Between hiring Ecliptic and unauthorized human trials, we have enough to take Lucas down for good. And, with the Rothesite secure, it's almost time for us to make our move. Exactly. Without the Rothesite, their research comes to a halt. Head up to the executive floor and speak to Dalton. He has an update for you on the Mole's identity. I've called a meeting, and I expect you to attend. It's time to put the final plan in motion. I've got my eye on you. This could be the most important meeting. Don't wander into any restricted area. Good. You're right on time. I reevaluated all the evidence. It took every resource I had, but the final answer is clear. Ularu is the mole. So this clears imaging of wrongdoing. Good. Indeed. 
I've briefed Masako and discussed her plans on handling this. While we both agree Ularu is guilty, we need irrefutable evidence before presenting this to the board. For now, we lead everyone to believe that Imogene was the mole, and the situation was dealt with. I can understand the need for deception, but it does come at quite a cost. Imogene is a resourceful woman. I have no doubt she's in a safe house of her own design. In fact, she probably sees this as a paid vacation. My guess is she's lounging on a couch somewhere, binging all those movies she hasn't had time to watch. Good. Keeping Olaro in the dark is the key to taking her down. Masako has tasked Olaru with writing the program to bring down Infinity LTD. We believe she'll take the chance to incriminate Masako within the program. So this could provide the evidence we're looking for. You will be tasked with the assignment to infiltrate Infinity. So before you go, I want you to bring that program to me. If I can't find hidden code on a single slate, I certainly deserve to be fired. Ularu is limited in what she can hide here. Plus, she'll have no reason to believe anyone will be looking in the first place. Good. Once Ularu believes she's properly deflected any suspicion, I have no doubt she'll be bold enough to hide something within whatever program she writes. Now, Let's attend a meeting. We called you all together to discuss a recent...
security breach. We discovered a mole within the company who leaked vital information about Project Dominion to Infinity LTD. You've got to be kidding me. Just don't tell me it's Vina. I think we've all noticed she's not here. Before you speculate any further, no, it's not Vina. The guilty party is Imogene Salzo, much to my disappointment. Our operative here obtained the evidence to confirm it. Dalton, how does something like this happen? Imogene is highly trained. Ularu can even speak to that. We demand the best. So that's the threat we deal with. I may have well-trained operatives, but security is your responsibility, Dalton. This is a huge failing on your part. I accept the responsibility, but let's not forget. The mole has already been exposed and dealt with. Well, of course, thanks to another of my operatives. I'd even go beyond symptom and call it a trait. Imogene's been dealt with, so bickering is pointless. All I care about is reacquiring our property and what this might be costing us financially. Vina is completing the internal NeuroAmp prototype as we speak. Our operative will receive the implant, infiltrate Infinity LTD, and obtain any and all research. I have it on good authority, the experimentations they've done to replicate the missing pieces of our work have resulted in fatalities. Botched human trials and murder for hire? You don't bounce back from that. At least not with Infinity's legal team. If I may make a suggestion, we should give this evidence to David at SSNN. It's the best neutral method of releasing this information to the general public. That'd make my job easier. David it is, then. Masako, the internal neural amp is ready if you want to send down the candidate. I hope you're ready for this. Good. I can tell Vina is going to enjoy working with you. Vina will be waiting for you in the NeuroAmp division in R&D. Once you're done, meet me in my office. Be ready to discuss the details of your next assignment. Check those measurements are right. Here. Anesthesia always makes me nervous. I suggest you need ingestion of a moderate quantity of water. It's good to see you again. Ah, here's my lucky candidate. I hope you're ready to embark on one amazing journey. Oh, don't worry. That's not on the agenda. Now, just a few details before we begin. Obviously, we'll be putting you under. I'll be making a small incision in the back of your skull where the internal neuroamp will be fitted. The whole procedure should only take three to four hours with little to no downtime afterwards. Provided DeMarcus got everything entered correctly. Did I not just say I quadruple check the numbers? You know I'm just giving you a hard time. Besides, I've got to make sure my patient is reassured. Eh, you're gonna be fine. All I'm saying is that you're in good hands. Now, just lie down on the table once you're ready, and we should be good to go. This has not all this been a horrible miscalculation, then. Possess advanced surgical capabilities. All 
All right, let's get this party started. finally up. The operation was a success, obviously. Once you're able to refocus, let me know how you're doing. So, how are you feeling? You look good? Yep, that's me every morning. But the whole point of this is no visual indication and no adverse side effects. So, sounds like we're on track. Just a couple quick notes before using the internal neuroamp. First, you can only influence one person at a time. And second, the effect is temporary. So be prepared if you use it in a combat situation. Well, my tech is only a prototype. This is just the beginning. Now, let's test this sucker out. Demarcus has graciously volunteered for science, he says. That's the spirit. Demarcus loves being hands-on and experiencing things on his own. It's probably why he's the second most published scientist here, after me. Just head up the stairs nearby to the observation deck. All right, relax. This is... As an observer, the effect is quite unnerving. It's hard not to immediately worry about the implications. <laughs> oh my god, that was...
was incredible. What was it like? Wow. How to describe it? One minute I was excited about seeing how the experiments would go. The next, I had a brief moment of disorientation and figured I must have lost my train of thought. It felt eerily natural. And yes, I admit it, just as you predicted. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it! I can hardly wait to finish writing up my latest dissertation. And you owe me a hundred creds. I'll be keeping myself under constant surveillance now. I'm curious if any other side effects may manifest. So, tell me all about it. How did it feel? Any side effects? I'll take that as a no on the side effects. And that toy you love so much is very powerful, so use it wisely. Yeah, toy is hardly the word I'd use to describe it. It really was fascinating how all I experienced was a moment of disorientation. It's truly remarkable tech. Hmm, so not at all. But I can imagine if I experienced disorientation like that, but regained my awareness in another room. It could be a bit jarring. We'll definitely be running some more tests in the future, though. So many situations to account for. That's why there are so many other guards on this floor. Those are the kind of edge cases that I let the board work out. Obviously, tech like this is going to come with its fair share of red tape. When it comes to your job, you bet it does. Uh, besides, the neural elm is in total control. If a subject's morals or beliefs in something are strong enough, we still see points of failure. That being said, it's been interesting to discover the actions our subjects sanction in their own minds. Okay, okay. As much as I'd love to go over the details and potential of this amazing piece of technology I created, Masako wants to see you. It sounds like you have an assignment to complete. And Demarcus and I have a lot of notes to record. here. I wasn't sure how accurate Vina's promise of no downtime was going to be. Let's just hope her promise of no brain damage holds true as well. Now that you've been outfitted with the internal neuroamp, it's time to put that tech to work. We're sending you into Infinity LTD. Lucas Drexler is about to learn exactly why you don't steal from Ryujin Industries. And wish he shall, every day, while he rots away in prison. All right, Yuko has provided a layout of Infinity LTD. You have two options for this assignment. We'll be providing you with the means for both. Option A, you gain entry through their maintenance access on the roof. Option B, we give you an assigned identity and arrange a meeting for you. Just hope those acting skills don't get you caught or killed. Now, depending on your preference, you'll either find yourself in the maintenance hallway or the marketing department. From there, you have three targets. First, you have Lucas Drexler's computer, located in his office on the executive floor. Second is Faye Sengsavan's computer, in research and development. And third, you need to obtain the prototype they are working on, also in R&D. As you can see, you've several floors to traverse. 
So I hope you're prepared for an adventure. Nothing a good operative can't manage. Now, I had Ularu create a program that you need to run on both Lucas and Faye's computers. I'll let her explain the details. You see, once we expose Infinity LTD, all of their data is going to come under intense scrutiny. We only want the public to know about their mercenary hires and unauthorized human trials, but Project Dominion needs to remain confidential. I've created an overseer program that will gather all the evidence we need, and at the same time delete anything relating to Ryujin and the internal Nero Amp. Exactly. And what the public doesn't know, doesn't hurt them. It is best to keep the public unaware of such a device. If the media were to draw their own conclusions, I'm certain they'd just create a panic among people. Controlling the narrative is of the utmost importance. Understood. Now we don't want to mess on this one. A body count will only distract from what we're trying to accomplish here. In fact, unless they're a master at being one with the shadows, I'd suggest you leave your friend behind. Lower the risk. Simon Rychek provided some useful info on how to evacuate civilians from the building. I'm sure you remember him from Sidonia. Infinity's maintenance crew is understaffed. It's only a matter of time before pressure gauges go unchecked and they have a massive issue on their hands. Once that pressure becomes too much, Every floor in the building is going to suffer from gas leaks, setting off an automated alarm to evacuate the building. Simon was able to get a passcode for you to access their system's computer, so you can force the heating system to fail. My thoughts exactly. We're also issuing you an operative suit. It should help reduce their ability to detect you. These suits are typically reserved for the senior ranks, but we want to reduce as much risk as possible. Well, you're still here, so apparently you didn't need it that bad. Once you've run the Overseer program and obtained the prototype, your final step is to deliver the slate to David Barron at the SSNN field office. If he asks questions, Feel free to give him just enough information to pique his interest, but no mention of Ryujin or who you are. SSNN is used to anonymous tips. They'll do whatever verifications they deem necessary on their own to confirm the story. You and me both. So, any final questions before you go? Depending on whether or not you evacuate the building, you'll mostly be looking at security guards, much like we have here. You may encounter an automated defense system in the form of turrets as well, so be careful. You have the ability to manipulate others. If someone's in your way, you could get them to move. If someone has a keycard, that means you have a keycard. The possibilities here are really up to you. You'll be restricted to the marketing floor. An appointment is not a free pass. Good luck, and be sure to report directly back to me when you return. Here's Simon's passcode, your operative suit, the Overseer program, and your cover identity. Your cover ID card is encoded with roof entry and elevator access, so that's your ticket in either way. Don't screw this up, Skylar Lumen.
won't cause any trouble. This deal could be huge for my company. My company's future might be riding on this deal. Do you have the program? It's one thing to hide your work in a network with thousands of employees, not to mention access to a top-secret project that can let you control said employees. It's another to try and hide on a single slate. So, let's take a look. Aha! The decryptions hit a snag. There's definitely something here. This is exactly what we needed. According to this code, Ularu intended to plant false evidence that would show Masako was working with Lucas. The moment you launched the Overseer program, a series of fabricated communication files would have been uploaded to the Infinity LTD network. One of them even frames Masako for encouraging Lucas to push for early human trials. So it is clear what she intended. Now all that is left is to decide what to do with this information. I'm going to copy the necessary files off this slate and issue you a new one. I want to keep this one intact, so Alaru can't dispute it. All right. Now, we finally have the evidence we need to prove Olaru's guilt. Then it is time we use it. Yes. I'm looking forward to putting this all behind us. Without that falsified evidence, Ularu is in for a big surprise. I fully expect she'll be eagerly awaiting SSNN's broadcast, anticipating Masako to be accused alongside Lucas Drexler. Here's the new slate with the revised Overseer program. Let's get this assignment finished the right way. So many people, all in one place, I still cannot feel entirely comfortable. Got anything? Need some work done? Nothing for us to do, if you're in good... I'm sure you can find something you like.
Anything I can help you with? Okay, no problem. Did you need something? Yes, of course. <laughs> you might find it absurd, but honestly, Village, I have never been surrounded by such a remarkable group of people, present company included. It has been a very long time since I have been someplace that could possibly feel like home. There are worlds beyond count out there, but that feeling is rare and precious. I have done so in the past, when necessary, but I am not the best pilot, and it seems prudent to apply my skills where they are most useful. Lately, that means aiding you, and that, I think, has worked out very well. Honestly, I... I cannot answer that. So many years have been driven by survival in intense circumstances. Leisure time has... has been in short supply. And I suppose I have conditioned myself to not think about it much. I do enjoy combat training, though I suppose that is hardly the answer you are looking for. You have given me something to consider. Thank you for that. Thank you for asking. I'll be here when you need me.
All non-essential personnel must evacuate the building. Please find the nearest exit and contact emergency services.
It's, you know, <clears throat> plus people maybe are interested and don't want to spoil it, I guess.
Level 44? What is this bullshit?
can't go in. You just can't. If you ever but find David's yourself with a hot lead, he we will do me. our best to protect your enemy. I need to break it to you, but his peace. Can I help you? All those cars and headshots. Mr. Barron's a very busy and important man. All right. You've got my attention. What's this so-called story about? Listen, I might be able to hook you up with some merch. Maybe get you a ticket to a speaking gig he's got. That's all I can do. You all right. I'll take a look. I don't suppose you want to tell me how you got this evidence. Of course. <coughs> I just hope your source is as reliable as you think they are. Is there at least a name I can cite as my source? Why am I not surprised? As long as the evidence is adequate and verifiable, I expect it'll be aired within the hour, if not sooner. Now, if you'll excuse me, I obviously have some work to do. Please tell me you're not here. You're still here. I got uh, I got a few legendary pieces. So yellow is definitely the highest. I've also been changing my ship a little. I got a different cockpit and stuff now. I've kind of made the neck longer. I did another piece. I'm messing around with it. I think I'm gonna make a turn. Ooh, always a satisfying moment to return to your ship. Did she return to the ship as well? her to wait because I was going to try to be silent. I fucked that. I go up there? What's up here? See, I added shit. I don't even know what I added. Uh, uh, no, that's... I'm not doing that. Yeah, there's no way. How are you, Dusty? It's a huge bitch.
probably going to be pretty pissed. <clears throat> I do not understand how anyone can tolerate the lights and the music for long. I don't know how this is gonna go. I believe you were specifically told that we did not want a body count on this assignment. Your best is sorely lacking. Cheers. All the tools at your disposal, and yet here we are. I hope you at least attempted to use the internal neuroamp. And yet not useful enough to avoid a body count? Still, it's good to know the applications are proving themselves. So now it's just a waiting game for SSNN to break the news. Once the story airs, we have another board meeting scheduled to decide how to handle Infinity. Go ahead, Maeve. The SSNN broadcast has started. Shall I patch it through? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Citizens of New Atlantis were shocked today when an unidentified assailant left several dead at the Infinity LTD building. The murders are believed to be linked to a new investigation where Drexler would have been accused of numerous violations, including murder for hire, unauthorized human trials, and corporate theft. Authorities representing the UC and the Freestar Collective have been dispatched to a consolidated mining station and the clinic. Both locations are believed to hold numerous victims. Drexler's motivation appears to be an attempt to launch a new product based off stolen information from a competitor. The details on the project itself and the competitor have yet to be confirmed. This has been David Barrett for SSNN. Perfect. This exposure puts Infinity right where we want them. The meeting will begin momentarily, but I want you to discuss the options we have with the other members. Infinity's net worth is about to hit rock bottom. So, this gives us the opportunity to win a little more public faith. Quite right. The truth is, we'll be making evaluations. We'll shed any employees who don't make the cut, slowly but surely. By incorporating Infinity, we eliminate a competitor, get their best employees and contracts, and all while boosting our public perception. I suppose it is all very simple when you do not consider the impact on actual human lives. Just your bottom line. We've already done some initial evaluations, so I'm certain of it. Infinity has a lot of appeal being in New Atlantis. I'm sure plenty of brilliant minds are there because they prefer the location. Plus, there's always that handful of people that think they've got something to prove by not working for Ryujin. As if other corporations are really any better. It is the right thing for Ryujin. Which is why I'd like you to talk to the board to convince them this is the right move. There are several who might disagree and... You have the perfect tool to help sway them. Yes, that's exactly what it's designed for. The bright side being, they'll never know. Good. You'll find most of the board members in their offices preparing. Vina is also here, waiting for the meeting to start. We'll need at least 50% of the vote to go our way. In the event of a tie, I will make the final decision. I trust you'll get it done. Don't wander into any restricted areas. Did Masako send you to try and convince me to acquire Infinity LTD? I think we both know that's not going to work.
You can make light of the situation, but my stance won't change. The internal neuroamp gives us the power to crush our competitors, not take them under our wing. This is exactly why Masako's time as CEO is finished. Good. If you use that neuroamp wisely, it will guarantee that Infinity gets shut down. Ah, uh, well, it does make Ryujin look good. And we do gain a wider customer base, which means higher profits. You're oddly right about this one, Op. I guess you are worth keeping around. As long as everyone has Ryujin's best interests in mind. This should make for an interesting meeting. I can only imagine the contracts that will be pouring in. We'd almost be literally in control of anything we wanted. Now if you'll excuse me, I still have a lot of preparations to make. Let's get your fucking ass fired. She doesn't even know. I'm glad we're making an effort in our appearance today. Just the person I wanted to see. I want to get all the details locked down for this meeting, and I believe you to be one of the best sources available. Are you there, Zach? How was your day, buddy? What are you doing? I don't care about your qualifications. I'm only interested in your opinions based on your first-hand experience. You've had the chance to encounter members of Infinity LTD throughout your assignments here. Do you think they're worth redemption? And why? Saving the jobs of thousands is altruistic, which is not a luxury corporations have. It's a financial burden. It would be a huge undertaking on my part. This is true. Infinity never had the financial resources to match our salary offers. Getting what few capable employees they have at half the salary we typically pay here could have major payoffs in the long run. Next question. What is your opinion on how Masako handled the mole situation? Any insight into what made it successful? I agree. Should Masako have informed us too early, we may have all turned on each other. I appreciate the insight. I suppose I should ask if there's anything I can do for you, considering how helpful you've been. It's the next big step for Ryujin Industries. Financially, it'll keep us secure for years to come. There's no doubt it's our future. This has been rather enlightening for me. I appreciate the time. I'm glad we're making an effort in our appearance today. If operation starts to bore you, let me know. You'd make a perfect lab rat for the R&D team. And how's my favorite patient doing? Not seeing any temporal memory flashes or losing time, I hope. Oh, that 
That's great. I'd say Project Dominion is ready for legitimate human trials in that case. One step closer to seeing market approval. <laughs> Genevieve is going to be so excited. <laughs> so, tell me what you think of the Neuroamp. I'd be the next Ray Dakaris, my childhood hero and mentor. How amazing would that be? Demarcus, eat your heart out. Don't tell him I said that. He knows I love and respect him. So the next question is, what will the fate of Infinity LTD be? I'd like to acquire them, although it won't break my heart if we don't. Faye may have stepped over a line in her attempt to replicate my work, but she's a brilliant engineer. I'm very curious to see what else she may have been working on and dig into her research. Exactly. Not that I want to gloat over it. Maybe just a little. Okay, so Demarcus and I have really been looking forward to it, so fingers crossed this deal goes through. Well, this has certainly been the most interesting conversation of my day. All we can do now is look forward to the meeting, right? See you in there. Is Masako checking up on me to make sure I'm on her side? Because that's what I do. You want something in this business? You don't pull any punches. The only real question is just how persuasive she asked you to be. Well, you can let Masako know to rest easy. It just so happens that her agenda lines up with mine. We just need to grab Infinity LTD while it's got the public's full attention. I'm all about free PR, especially when it's painting us in a good light. I'm sure I can squeeze enough goodwill out of this to last us at least a year. All right, I suppose you've earned the right to voice your opinion after everything you've done, qualified or not. So let's hear it. Don't I know it. I think Alexis and I are truly gonna have our work cut out for one another. We'll discuss security ramifications with Dalton, and I'm sure there are alterations, safety nets, if you will, that we'll need from Vina. It's sure to be quite the undertaking. Well, it seems your talents really do stretch beyond just being an operative. Good talk. Maybe I'll even consult you on future endeavors. So much work to do. If you need something, make it quick. I'd like to make sure my arguments are solid before this meeting. Not much to discuss there. I believe I've made my case quite clear to Masako on why I am against it. All right, I could use the entertainment. Tell me why Infinity is a good asset. I do pride myself on solid contracts, and this one would be especially challenging. Huh. Well, what do you know? I think you just convinced me. Talent like yours belongs in the courtroom. Unfortunately... Half my department's been poring over documentation, while the other half is writing up what legal guidance they can. Don't even get me started. First off, if I find out you use that device on me, I will tie you up in court on whatever charges I can conjure for the rest of your life. Second, that tech is one major human rights violation that no legal team wants to fight. I'll do whatever I can to make sure it's either severely delayed or collects dust in storage. Well, that is one very clear position.
tech like this only has good applications when you have complete control over who uses it. Once that tech hits a market, open or private, that control is gone. And not only that, the tech is out there to be advanced or modified by anyone who might get their hands on it. Well, I'm both glad and surprised to hear the one person who has one say that. Masako is lucky to have you at her disposal, you know? You may be the greatest asset, aside from the internal neuroamp, that Ryujin has. This exchange has been surprisingly insightful. But now, I really do need to get back to my notes. To just murder an entire building. This meeting should prove to be very interesting. I assume Masako briefed you on her preferred outcome. That's because you're the one with the tool to do it. As long as Masako has the internal neuroamp on her side, she can't lose. It would be almost fitting to see the technology immediately turned on those who fostered its creation. If it were up to me, I'd have shut down Project Dominion a long time ago. I knew it was a grave security risk, and look what happened. Completely. I understand the success it can bring for the Corporation, but my only concern here is security. It's not that the board majority fails to see the dangers. It's that they believe we can overcome them. That hubris could easily bring this corporation down one day. I only hope it won't be on my watch. You read my mind. Let's just hope Masako and the others see it that way. Plus, if we vote to acquire Infinity LTD, we're about to add a significant workload onto my team. The last thing I want to deal with are any more incidents this new neuroamp might cause. I imagine we're looking at months of work. Infinity LTD is obviously not known for their security. I only hope that Masako and the others will be patient with the process. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some preparations to make. We'll be announcing Ularu's termination of employment at this meeting, so I need to have security ready to escort her off the premises. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. Someone's getting fired. <laughs> Got a chip in my head. All right, everyone. As you all know, we've successfully exposed Infinity LTD's botched human trials and murder for hire through SSNN. The public is demanding their leadership, namely Lucas Drexler, face trial. And he's probably writing his resignation as we speak. Ryujin will be launching a statement, but I believe now is the perfect time to acquire Infinity LTD. Believe it or not, I agree. The acquisition has risks, and it's going to create a lot of work for all of us. But the overall payoff will be worth it. That, and Infinity LTD's current situation, makes them more affordable than ever. Arguments? None? Excellent. Moving on, then. I think what we're all overlooking is what led us to this situation to begin with. Yes, our security was compromised. 
But considering Dalton was hired by Masako, the issue obviously starts at the top. In fact, I propose that Masako be removed from CEO altogether. Mm -hmm. Ularu, this isn't a line you want to cross. And considering you're the mole, if anyone's going to be removed from power, it's going to be you. Hold up. Are you saying you lied to us? Dalton, the last meeting we had, you distinctly said Imogene was the mole, and she'd been dealt with. Do you even have any proof to back up this outrageous claim? Of course we do. The malicious code you hid on this slate to upload incriminating evidence against Masako onto Lucas Drexler's computer. To put it bluntly, Ularu, you're fired. Security will hold you in your office until a proper exit interview can be done. This isn't right. <laughs> I should at least have the opportunity to resign. And allow you to still be marketable to a competitor? I don't think so. This may be news to me, and I will be reviewing the evidence closely. But this isn't something you just get to walk away from. Security, escort Miss Chen to her office and see that she stays put. You'll regret this. All of you. I believe the only regret would be trusting you to begin with. All right. Back to business. All in favor of acquiring Infinity LTD? Aye. Aye. Good. Alexis, start drawing up the necessary documentation. Anyone have anything else they'd like to bring up? Well, the internal NeuroAmp is a key component of Ryujin Industries' success for the next ten years, if not more. Why would we shelve it after we've finally perfected it? Agreed. We all experienced the threat posed to this company firsthand. The security risks would be innumerable. Very well. All in favor of shelving Project Dominion? Aye. All against? Nay. We'll start up discussions on how to handle Project Dominion in the future. In the meantime, at least the only person to have one is our own operative. Internal NeuroAmp research will continue. The dangers have been noted. And don't worry, I'm certain between Alexis and Genevieve any legal or moral issues will be taken care of by the time it goes to market. Any other matters to bring forth? None? This concludes our order of business for today. If only there were more hours in the day. So, Infinity LTD learned a lesson the hard way, and we exposed the traitor among us. You've proven yourself to be quite the asset here at Ryujin. It's well earned and deserved. I truly appreciate the work you put in to exposing Ularu. No operative has ever had to investigate our own to the extent that you did. I can imagine it may have been a lot of pressure, considering you were fairly new at the time. There was no honor in Ularu's plan. It did not deserve to succeed. My thought exactly. Imogene's instincts were right about you. Now, as promised, I have your bonus. I hope you'll find it appropriate for all you've done. And I'm promoting you to senior operative. You've more than earned it.
As for the details, I think someone back on the operations floor would prefer to explain those to you. If you have the time, I wish to speak to you. Oh, she's pissed. I suppose now you can add climbing the corporate ladder to your list of accomplishments. I must ask, though, are you not at all concerned with where future NeuroAmp research might lead? Perhaps, but I believe I asked you for your thoughts first. That seems like quite a pessimistic outlook. For now, perhaps? Who is to say Ryujin will not conduct their own immoral experiments at some point? Surely you cannot be so naive. A corporation that values profits above all else and will go to any lengths to achieve its goals. Yeah, right. And you believe they will do the right thing? I am amazed. And what happens when Ryujin falls prey to the same tactics it has employed and loses control of this technology? Then I'll fuck it up. With all that you have seen, and indeed done, in reaching this point, why would you believe it is not? So you just walk away, and let someone else worry about it. I see. I appreciate your explanation, but I find your decision here to be... lacking. I expected more, I think. Still, thank you for talking it over. Oh, she's so pissed. Finished that full storyline for Ryujin. Okay. There's another power there. Another power there. Strikers. I'm gonna be a part of a gang.
What are you looking at? This? This is Ebside Striker's turf. Only the upstairs. Don't bother my customers. Fine, upstairs. That's gang territory, got it? <laughs> yeah, back in the day, you would never... Ugh. Yeah, you used to be people were afraid of the Strikers. We had a name, got it? Now the Disciples got us penned up in this lousy bar. Andrea. Fine, fine, fine. This beautiful establishment. Do you have anything else, or are we done with this? Whatever this is. So you stroll in here and want to meet with Briggs? The nerve. Maybe you should meet with the business end of my shiv, huh, tourist? No blood in my shop, Andrea. I'm this close to tossing the lot of you out on the street. Fine, fine already. You love it. The only way you see Briggs is if you, uh, want to join the upside strikers. You know, I'll just do that. Right now. This ought to be good. Sure, let's go meet the boss. this someone says they might want to join a recruit been a while i know right savage says we can't go killing people around here anymore we shouldn't be doing that anyhow you want to join us we're a gang you understand that right not some daring adventure bullshit you can brag to your friends about we steal we mug we kill if we have to people that come to us have usually run out of options. So are you really interested? I wouldn't have pegged you for a crate rat like the rest of us. The fact you can get out, that says something. Let me tell you about us. What makes the Strikers different is we're family. It's us against every goddamn thing the world can throw at us. If you're in, We'll go through hell and back for you. It's been a little too much of that hell going round. Vogel, not the time. We do everything we can to make sure everyone's got a roof overhead and fish in their belly. I prefer we fleece the marks, not kill them. Better for everyone in the long run. But you do what you gotta do. Ebside is where all the loser and sad stories end up. Once Neon and Administrator Bayou has used them up. Surviving here ain't easy. Sometimes blood's got to flow just to get food based on your plate. But we only take what we have to. Not so fast. I gotta get to know you first. What would you bring to the Strikers? And you managed to claw your way out. That's a hell of a thing. Done anything special? Something that might impress us. That's no joke. If you really are one of Ryujin's cleaners. Wow. I'm not sure what your game is, but if you really want to join, there's a test. You're going up against the Disciples. Everyone in Ebside's been chewed up and ground up by Neon. Some people snap, and snap hard. The Disciples are maniacs, pure and simple. The test is to find out who has been arming those nutjobs with military-grade hardware. We're fully in alignment there. Joining a street gang was not something I felt we needed to do today, but so be it. 
There's a warehouse they use. One of our friends said there's a slate there that has the info we need. Oh, that's my job. I was going to go in and make them pay. You want it? Too bad, Vogel. You go in there, and it's a bloodbath. I want someone that can snatch it from them. Ideally with them never even knowing it happened. Consider this your audition. Try not to get killed, new fish. Or not, because I'm a fucking scene operative now. to survive. You're no use to anyone dead. I can't believe you're actually going to do this. There's no shame if you just walk away and go back to your pretty little life. Huh. So you did the job, and nobody had to die. 
That was one hell of an audition. So you're in. Everyone thinks the Ebside Strikers are out for the count. But now that we know where the Disciples are getting their guns, I feel the tide is turning. As soon as I realized that the Disciples had sniper rifles and assault rifles, I ordered everyone to go to ground. But we can't keep it up forever. All we need to be back in the game are weapons of our own. Trying to score points with the boss. <laughs> Smart play, new fish. You might want to say hello to the rest of the gang. They should be friendlier, or I'll make them friendlier. After you take some deserved R&R, &R, hit a hatchet for any gear you may need. And a job I got in mind for you. We'll see the disciples ended one day. Hmm. Huh. So you survived. Andrea thought Briggs wanted you dead, so he sent you away. Andrea was wrong. We are more alike than I thought. Everyone is hard because they have to be. These streets and alleys are all I know. They chew up the weak, they leave them broken or dead in the gutters. So don't be weak. You are funny. Funny won't keep you alive. So the job is, we let the streets know the strikers are back. We have signs, signs that indicate our turf. Hacking the signs is easy. Getting to them or fighting any disciples there, that is the challenge. Briggs said he prefers no blood, but I say make the disciples bleed at every chance. Good. If you need things too, I can hook you up. It's my job to make sure all the strikers have what they need. Good luck. A lot of the signs are higher. Here's what I have. <coughs> Ooh, a katana. Yeah. I'm not too happy to talk about it, even though it's not <laughs> special. The strikers steal all sorts of things. I handle the stash. Not sure why me, although I don't think anyone would trust Vogel or Andrea to do it. Stay safe. I hope you aren't here to cause any trouble. Yeah? Uh, I feel a little off. Not the good kind of off either. 
So, you're part of the gang now, huh? Welcome, then. Don't be too put out if it takes a while for the hooligans to warm up to you. They ain't big on outsiders. Really? They are? Son of a bitch. So apparently it's just me they had a problem with. I mean, I wasn't at my best, but still. Really classy. Definitely. I got your back now, new fish. I used to be a trader. Had a top-of-the-line tie a flush bank account. I was at the top of my game. Then one really epic crash at the Astral Lounge, and poof, gone. Bye-bye. Woke up in the gutter. I've been trying to crawl out ever since. I wish I never even heard of Neon. <sighs> Damn. I just suck at being the welcoming committee. You need something? Yeah. Well, uh, maybe. <laughs> Man, when you're tripping Aurora, it's like nothing else. But it can eat you up. Stay clear, kid. Trust me on it. I have a few hustles of my own. Plus, I'm not bad at a bit of the stand and deliver. Haven't had to end too many people. Yet. Times are bad now, though. See you later. Good. Maybe you'd like to fly. for the sake of these workers that after a while you get used to the smell. Mm -hmm. What do we have here? Decided to drop by on Neon and do a little vandalism, huh? There's a steep fine for that. Zero tolerance. Tell you what, you pay the fine now, and I'll let you off with a warning. Or things are going to get messy. <sighs> you from here? Fine. Get out of here. But don't make me regret it. Where the fuck did he come from?
blowing off some steam. I think you're gonna fit in well, really well. You've really kicked the hornet's nest. Good. Andrea's running point on grabbing the gun stash. I need you and Vogel to keep the disciples off balance. So we're finally doing this? It's time, Vogel. The gloves are off. Both of you, keep the collateral damage down if you can. But it's do or die. Like the attitude, but don't give Neon Security any reasons to go after us, okay? Let us be honest. Security has never needed a reason, so why would they start now? We do what needs to be done. You two coordinate whatever you need to. I have a request. I know this is asking a lot. Newell's Goods has some armor. Not mil-spec ranger gear or anything, but better than the cast-off clothes the Strikers wear. So if you could, well... Spring for some armor upgrades. Maybe convince Newell to sell it to us. All the Strikers owe you big time. Any credits it costs, I promise we'll pay you back with interest. Now's the time for the Strikers to make a comeback. I'm dreaming of this! <laughs> Finally. I've been telling him to let... Yeah, yeah. Goodbye. Go get that armor first. Uh, how... Hey there, welcome to Newell's. Oh, okay, yeah, that'd be extremely helpful. 
I honestly don't know what to say. I am a businessman. You help me with this, and I have no problem compensating you for your time. Just be careful when you're dealing with Siegert. He can be surprisingly unreasonable when he's cornered. Watch your back out there. We have first. I earned some goodwill with you. Welcome to Newell's. Let me know if you need help with anything. Do I sound that awful? I didn't even realize. Terrible, just terrible. You'll have to excuse me. With all the ruckus my husband's been making at the Merchant Alliance meetings, it's difficult to get any rest. Poor old man has himself mixed up in a foolish crusade against Dietrich Sieghart, who he's angry at for paying off Neon Security. I don't believe he is, no. I think my husband has Dietrich all wrong. He's probably doing what he has to do, to survive. Just, um, please don't tell James I said that. I don't want him to think his own wife is doubting him. Well, thank you. I can't remember the last time a total stranger walked into our store and offered to help. It would be so lovely to see my James happy again. He used to smile at me all the time, you know. Now all I see is worry on his face. I suppose you can speak with him about it if you like. But perhaps you'd like to browse our store a bit before you do? Please, we have a lot to offer. Marks on my face or those things. Dietrich is actually quite a lovely man, though lately he's been under a lot of pressure, which has made him rather bitter. When we first opened our business here in Akuchi Market, he was actually very helpful. Offered us advice. Didn't treat us like competition at all. I'm sorry, I just don't believe Dietrich is doing anything wrong paying off Neon Security. We all do what we have to do to survive in this wretched city. Unfortunately, my husband is convinced that fighting City Hall is the way to solve all of Neon's problems. I think he's wrong. Now, James, I don't want you to get upset. The reason for all your acting needs. Package food? Check. Yeah. His Majesty decided to... <clears throat> oh, that's for... Yeah, sure, there. Choosing a teacher. Speak to teacher. Come down from his throne and walk... Got those two. Hello there! Let me know if you need anything. My dear mother would have said the same thing. The fees here are quite expensive, and I'm barely making ends meet. But I've always been quite stubborn. 
It has not always been easy, but I've been at this location for eight years, and I won't give up. My business is my pride and joy. You won't find another store like mine on Neon. So please, support my business with your patronage. You won't be disappointed. Yes, I'm aware of James's objections. That's partly why I don't go to the meetings. But if I don't pay Dexler, I'll lose my business. And what good would joining the Alliance do then? So, really, I don't have a choice here. If they want to fight Neon Security, they can. But I need to protect my livelihood. Technology is for Herb Dexter. Oven Dexler is uh, head of Neon Security. But he is less concerned with crime than he is siphoning money from honest businesses. But it's not just him. All of Neon is corrupt. The only way to survive is to give in to their demands. You think I'm okay with it? I would like nothing more than to run my business free of Dexler's thieving. But what power do we really have? If I don't pay Dexler, he'll make sure every gang in the city takes a piece of my stock. And why is that? Rosa said that? I remember when her and James first started. They were very green. It was a different time. Okay, you've convinced me. I will stop paying Dexler his safety assurance fee. And tell the Newells I will come to the next meeting. Maybe I will even bring some beverages and snacks. You can't stand up to neon security on an empty stomach. Stocked and ready to sell. Well, I'll be. And all you had to do was talk to him? I reckon I should have. This whole time I've been so angry at Seeger for making those payments. I never bothered to ask him why. Why did I tell you? You assume the worst in people and you'll make it so. <laughs> I knew when I told you so was coming. But I guess I deserve it. Thanks for your help on this. The Merchants' Alliance is finally united. I don't know if we'll ever get a fair shake in the city, but it's a start. Now, James, I don't want you to get upset. Thanks for that mission. Okay. Appreciate the help. Hopefully next meeting, Dietrich will be there and everything will... Oh, dear Lord. Did Briggs put you up to this? All these gangs are a menace. I don't want to have any part of it. Because they're bottom-feeding parasites. They steal and murder and security couldn't care less. Us businessmen have to draw a line somewhere, and this is mine. They are definitely the lesser evil. All right, already, all right. You pay and I'll send Briggs his armor. But this is a one-time deal. I don't want anything to do with this madness after that. I'll send the armor to Madame Savage's. Have a nice day. I had to chase more zone heads out of here today. I didn't bother to persuade because I'm going to get reimbursed for it anyway. Probably 
probably should have because it was a bit scary. Briggs is going to let me kick these disciples where it hurts. I've been telling him to let his best man loose for weeks. So thank you for changing his mind. Yeah, you better believe it. Both of us worked for that hellhole Zeno Fresh way back. I was a casualty of a reduction in force. But Paul Briggs's leg got crushed in an accident. So Zeno Fresh, being the class act they are, they fired him, and later even sued him. So it was him and I on the streets. I helped him through rehab. The Ebside Strikers sort of grew around us. You better believe it. The plan's simple. We hit the street runners hard in as many points as possible. Maximum chaos, right? Then Andrea can waltz into their weapons, cash, snag the big guns, <laughs> and then the real fun begins. No promises. The till's running empty. So if I happen to see some marks on the way, then the fishies better pay up, know what I mean? Well, it'll work, all right? Here's three groups of street rats for you. Me and my boys will take some others. Fun time. Pull up a jam, that is true. Hey there.
best for the soldiers. Shot her right in the fucking back of the head. So you're the strikers, darling. We got the guns, new fish. Went in, pop, 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 and the cash is ours. Yeah, and that's thanks to me and my new best mate. <laughs> Hit any problems on your patrol? Hey, same here. Little element of surprise and a few bullets. And then no worries. Everything's going according to plan, Briggs. Good. Now we hit them where it hurts. This warehouse is one of their main strongholds. Not going to lie, taking it is gonna be hard. Newfish, we wouldn't be here without you. What's the play? Go in guns blazing? We hold back? Then we all go in together. You heard the plan. Let's do it. Time is over. Downstairs, now. Security. I'd recognize that. You house. think Neon Security wouldn't know about what's going Hands down? Off weapons. Please. Looks like you've done a bit of violence. A bit of murder. Word is, all of this is due to you. Why are you messing around with my streets, huh? As I can see. So here's what's going to happen. Gang violence gets too noisy. That hurts the bottom line around here. No one affects the bottom line. Tell that to the Disciples. No. I want you to, Mr. Briggs. The Disciples have been pissing me off for far too long. So, your gang throws off Sewer Rat Blue and starts wearing Neon Security Black. Or, you can be found face down in the streets. And you, say your goodbyes. Briggs is a smart lad. He'll make the right choice. Setting street rat against street rat is pretty elegant, right? Don't take too long. Time to onboard the new hires. Good you're here. Huddle up, gang. Is this for real? They want me to be a 
a cop. Shit. We could get a real pad. Maybe even move out of Pepside? Briggs, I'm so in. After all we've done, Neon Security seriously will let that go? I don't see why not. Do you really think anyone cares who stabs who in Ebside? What's your take? <sighs> it's almost too much to hope for. Despite whatever loyalty you may feel to this place, you might never get another chance like this. Anyone object to going for the deal? This is your chance. No one? Good. Really good. I'll give Owen the news. I can't say I was expecting this. Whatever god or gods we please to get you to help us, know we'll be forever grateful. With resources and backup, the streets are gonna be safer. It looks like the strikers are retiring. And here's your cut.
Vamos.
adventure you can fly away from. Is, is that how the saying goes? City because many of fucking smacked. City's here, Neon. Let's go back to Neon. Every smuggler I have ever worked with. Had a perverse affection for this place. Minaya Adams was looking for someone discreet for a job. Apparently, I don't know.
got anything you need to offer, you should inspect your sh You were able to land it, so I'm sure whatever is broken can be fixed. Okay, no problem. <clears throat> Landing bay. That's fucking stupid.
Jay's passing a dark amount of this had to be the third side of the ship. Well, that just looks ridiculous.
this for the attached modules. Unattached modules, routine mobility attached modules. Unattached. Shield guys, guns. Listen, ship has unattached. Doors. The ship modification is zero fucking pain in my ass. But let's see if I can find it.
the stop on this thing. That side we should. Oh yeah, because I changed. Still do fast. 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 So it's probably. Still add engines. Max crew two.
somehow my darker modules have to be on it like I do. Fucking stupid. And my darker module needs to be on the outside of the ship. Oh, uh, it's probably because it's not. Anyway. It has to be. Ship did see there in the last okay, so this must be Ships too heavy to grab jump to boost mass or increase grab drive.
Sure, how about it?
Good to see you. Get up here. What's up here?
find the interior of this ship comforting. I didn't even know I was getting fucked. Damn. Oops. Maybe the turtle's not as good as I thought. Oh fuck, it's gonna get me right back here. That's stupid. Back in our own.
I knew my ship was weak. See this guy kind of ship over in space. Discretion as advised. Yeah, that's my kind of ship. I got pedo. <clears throat> so I'll be back. If you need to harvest any organic materials, now would be the time. Incidents in a while. Let's hope it stays that way. Welcome to Paradiso. Jiro Sugiyama at your service. Do you have a security concern, or is there something else I can help you with? Ah, yes, of course. I'm glad you came. 
As you can imagine, we're in a bit of a predicament. Under normal circumstances, we would not enlist outside help in this manner. But this is a matter we can't afford to worry this our guests about. As such, we need to handle this discreetly. Failure on your part to do so could have severe consequences. So, before we proceed, can you swear not to discuss this with anyone else unless explicitly directed to do so? Yeah, yeah. I understand you're eager to get into it, but if you're unwilling to take this seriously, I can foresee problems in your future. <laughs> not too long ago, a strange and enormous ship appeared in Parima space. It is now locked in orbit around our planet. So far, it doesn't seem to be hostile, but any attempts to communicate with it have been in vain, so we're unsure of the ship's intentions. And not quite. It took some time, but we received a transmission. It was all... Pardon the phrasing. It sounded almost alien, like nothing anyone's heard before. Clicks, distorted groans, buzzing, really disturbing sounds. Now, one of our engineers says it could just be some busted comm equipment or incompatible signals, but we're not sure. So far, no one's disembarked from the ship. No landing craft, nothing. We don't have the staff or ships to spare, and otherwise, we'd dock with it and attempt to board. That's... There's no discernible markings or allegiances to any manufacturers we're aware of. I'm hoping that doesn't mean we're dealing with some sort of new deep space threat. Can you stop posting in the chair or something, buddy? Like, you're messing with the camera. What? No, jeez. Let's not be hasty. First, see if you have more luck communicating with them. If not, you may have to try boarding. Whatever you do, it's important to remember to seek diplomacy with who or what ever's on board. As soon as you have any more information, report to Oliver Campbell. He's the CEO of Paradiso. All formal decisions will need to go through him, and he'll have your pay. Good luck. Uh, discussion is not really my fault. Taking off immediately, or are there other matters that require your attention? Hey, you need something?
you're human. Clearly you're not. You're obviously human, but how are you here? We didn't know any others left Earth. Their first contact with anyone. And you, like that. <laughs> I hope you realize how staggeringly foolish you look right now. Perhaps we should greet our guests. Of course. Manners. I'm Captain Diana Brackenridge. This is Security Officer Bomani Reader. Hmm. And this is Dr. Mabuti da Costa, one of our elders. A pleasure to meet you. You've come aboard the Earth colony ship, Constant. Generations ago, we set forth from the planet Earth with the mission of colonizing a new habitable world in the spirit of our ancestors nearly a millennium ago. I see. As you may have presumed, we're in a bit of a bind. Our ship has finally completed its near 200-year journey from Earth, only to find our new home seemingly colonized by... well, we don't know. Communications haven't been successful, so your arrival is fortuitous. Perhaps you'd be willing to act as a middle person between ourselves and... the others. Ah, your question confirms one of our recent theories. It would seem that some form of faster-than-light travel or space-bending technology was invented during our long journey. That would explain why we would find people this far out into space. I guess technology leapfrogged us at some point. Interesting. I can only imagine that our predecessors didn't believe the technology would ever work. And so they made the decision to leave when they did. Can you imagine that? You're going off on a 200 year journey with like humans and in that 200 years the humans back home advanced the technology to leave you in the dust so by the time you reach the end of your two like they're already there 